How are we doing, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Get Jiggly With It. Today is Sunday, and normally we would do some type of opening or activity or whatever. However, we had so much fun playing Aftermath last night, we decided, let's do it again today. Um, and actually, it's kind of good that we're doing this as well. So when we played last night, and we do have that video up, if you haven't watched the first part of the playthrough, make sure you watch that video and then come back to this one if you're watching this after the live stream. But we realized we messed up a rule. So we thought that um, the timer uh, down here in the bottom, we thought that once you hit the mission time, which was five, and once you got gone past that, we thought that was a mission failure. However, in the book, there's a note that says that the mission time doesn't actually cause you to fail the scenario. It just causes those repercussions that we, we went over and had to undo <laughs> uh, to be more substantial the longer that you're out in the way. So we actually realized we would have been able to complete it. I mean, we had what, five, I think we were like five or six for our group task already. Two of us were like right on top of it. For all of us, I think we're right on top of it. So we would have been able to finish off that task and go through the exit. So we pretended as if we finished that off. Um, we, we reset everything on our board to the best of our memory. I didn't go back and rewatch, but um, I, I know we got it pretty close. Uh, not a big big deal there. Um, so the next part is once you go through Injo, so once we went through the temple, which was the vending machine, we end up inside the vending machine. So. Uh, at the start, it says, read the following. So at the start of the turn, we do need to increase our time now by one more. So we're at seven instead of six. So that is going to impact our end of game, right? Okay. So it says, read. All right. So it is a uh, ringer. So, oh, I can almost taste those cheesy crunchums. Ringer's voice has a metallic echo inside the machine. All I can taste is guinea pig, so it's whisper. <laughs> you must be behind my butt. <laughs> well, excuse me. Oh, that's you. Oh, no, it's you. <laughs> You're the guinea pig. See, well, excuse me, snaps Grumpo indignantly. I'm moving as fast as I can. Stop crowding me. You press yourselves against the cool metal of the mechanical uh, interior to help you find your way as the diffused light from the dirty plexiglass only provides gloomy details to your eyes. You have to work your way through a complicated series of contraptions and gizmos before you can get to the treat locker where the goodies are stored. All right, so set up, we uh, put our guys down, uh, we placed the finding tokens. So I had to try to remember, that was one of the harder parts. I had to remember which tokens we had already found and threw all those up there. Plus any token that was on the previous page because we left a three and I think two twos on the previous page, we had to discard those as well. They don't come with you. So I really don't, I don't think maybe you would go far enough to get through all those, uh, but we were looking at like the map. So we're, we're actually at Injo still. Uh, we were looking at the map and it's like to get all the way to like these locations, that's six moves. And you have to go through all those storybooks. So I'd imagine you would just try to hightail it to the further location or maybe later, once you get a vehicle, you're allowed to skip locations. Because I, I can imagine going through six scenarios would get very, very long, yeah. right? So we did that. Uh, place the Snoodle heavy object token on the following space, the rightmost spiral gizmo. Uh, so that's the, the, they should be in there. So yeah, we want to get a Snoodle. You have four characters put it on space A. And it says the rightmost so it goes here on space A. so there are our cheesy snoodles onions onion 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 oh you wanted cheesy cheesy uh, you wanted cheesies right there's onion snoodles it's double-sided that's kind of cool um so that goes right here on spot a uh environment cards Forced movement, low visibility, and heavy objects. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're getting into these environment cards. So it said low visibility. It said, what was that one? Heavy objects. It said forced movement. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what these do to us. All right. So forced movement, environment. Figures and tokens occupying a space with an arrow are subject to forced movement. 
This could be from water, current, sloping terrain, or even wind. When a player places a threat card on the threat track, all figures and tokens that are on the space with an arrow must move one space in the direction of that arrow. Okay, so when we go over here and place a threat, uh, if we're on this one or this one or this one, we basically move one space. All right, so let's put this maybe over here with the threat track so we don't forget that it's over there. Uh, heavy objects. Salud. Salud, mas. Yen? Okay, <laughs> Anthony's got the sneezes. Uh, she's, it's all the dust inside the vending machine because it's been, <laughs> it's been down in the rubble for so long. All right. Heavy objects. Moving a heavy object token across a dotted line requires a group task of any attribute. Difficulty 4. Only characters on this space can contribute. When crossing the colored line, only a matching colored card can be used to initiate the task. Place all cards played to the group task with this card. Uh, success. Upon success, move the heavy object token and all figures in that space that contributed this task to the adjacent space. So let's hear. So let's let's double check. So it says moving the heavy object, which is this, um, across a dotted line, which would be to get it up, 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 right? Uh, to get that to move up, then so requires a difficulty four. Okay, so we have to get to four to then be able to move it. And then once we move it, we do that four, then the object and tokens in that space um, are moved to the adjacent space. Okay. So it's four, four, four. We got to do uh, to keep going. So it's four to get through each one, right? And it says to get across colored lines, it can only be used with the green cards. Um, however, I don't see why you would ever get it into these. Like, why would you push it through a colored line? But I'm guessing there's other ones where colored lines are going to come in as a factor. All right, so that is our group task. All right, so here is our low visibility. All attacks have a range of zero. Ranged attacks from a character that include one or more yellow action cards can ignore this restriction. Let's hear, uh, that include one or more yellow action cards. Okay, so my guys, if I also include the light bulb, I can ignore that because my guys have ranged. So I can ignore that. Um, for Audrey, she will have to be um, in combat, I guess. All attacks have a range of zero. Yeah, that means even my ranged attacks, I can't shoot unless I'm in the same square as them. All right, so Audrey is going to do something real quick. I think we're good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the mission card. So, or not the mission card. And I'm, I apologize for the darkness because unfortunately with that brightness back there, there's no way for us to fix that. Um, it's just not gonna happen. Uh, we normally don't play during the day, and I think this is why. Uh, once we get the new game table, the camera will actually be facing towards that direction. And so there, the window won't be behind Oddity anymore. Um, but with the... Um, situation safe. Okay, so do we need to not pull... Okay, so it didn't make us pull an... Um, a challenge card this go round. Okay, so we don't have to do the challenge card and the situation is safe. Special rules. Carrying the snoodle. The snoodles can be carried using heavy objects environment rule. If you carry the snoodles into the exit space, go to the success. Uh, if you carry the onion snoodles into the beginning space, go to the success entry listed when you're made. Oh, so we actually have to bring it down, so we do have to get through these. We have to bring it all the way down. And there's, it didn't tell us to play, to do one of these cards. I was going to say, we made sure we put the card that we pulled at the end back as the top one. Um, it looks like it, it booted you out of the stream again. Um, but we made sure we did that, so that's fine. Uh, advancing the spiral. Each time a figure moves across the red line, that separates the eyeball in two spaces. Move each token and figure on a lettered space 
to the next space in alphabetical order. If the token or figure falls off the end, in other words, if it is already on D, when it is forced to move, remove it from play. The character is removed this way, treat it as if it used the exit. The students remove this way, go to 47.3. Okay, so, wow. So, when we cross this, it moves up. So you go one, two, three, right? So, we can actually, only three of us can even go past that. Because each time one of us crosses this red line from one to two, it moves that snoodle bag up. So they're really the last person can't even go up there until somebody's brought it back down one level. That's that's a challenge. Okay. All right. I guess that's where we're at. But didn't tell us to do any bad guy cards. I guess there's no bad guys in here. Maybe there's some roaches or something that's going to show up eventually because uh, they're on the page. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe. I'm thinking <laughs> we might run into some roaches. All right, so I did reshuffle the deck, right? Yeah, let's, let's double check. We're going to double check the shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Make sure we got a shuffle action going on. Well, I might, like, I, I kind of always worry about people, you know, sleeving the cards. I'm like, eh, you know, whatever. But this, I'm, I'm shuffling so much, right? I mean, they're good quality cards. They feel nice. I don't think that's the problem. I just think it's... If we were to, really, if we were to riffle shuffle, it probably wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. All right, so I got a lot of attacking. Wild. All right, so the objective really is to get up here, right? So my last... So, so Mazaya is not going to be able to go up here. Um, yeah, Mazaya is not going to be able to go up. So how much does it take? So I gotta use red to get through here, which is fine. So I can use this one. Use that one to move one. So ringer moves one. Now I need to get through that, right? So if I do one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can get all the way to the snooter. I'm going to go all the way. Well, let's read one. We're going to have to read two, and then I'm going to go to the soon. Okay. So one, one. Um, you stare at the spiral-loaded metal sprocket turnstile contraption thingy. <laughs> a wee light trickles from a slit, and you realize human coins were in uh, from a slit, and you realize, hang on. Uh, human coins were supposed to fall in and roll along a track until they triggered a small motor that would advance the turnstile by one notch. The only way to get the the only inside. way to get inside is to push your way through the rusty metal contraption. There we go. So we push. That's why it's that's why it's difficult. See, there's the the coin slot. Oh, so it was see. difficult. Oh no, I can't go that far because that's that's they are, they that's are green. Wrong. Oh no, this was green. Wrong. This was green to get out. So I use green to get out, which is cool. So this is red. So that would be one two. All right. So I do that to go two one two, and then I need green which a wild counts as any color. That goes one, two. Um, I can't get through that one because I don't have three. These arrows are only for these things? The, the arrows are for when we do the environmental threat. So if we do a threat, oh, okay. if you're standing on this, it moves you back one space. Mm. So that's, because there's no bad guys, I guess that's the way they add some complexity. So somebody else is gonna need the red. You're gonna need the red to get through. So I will give Grumple a red. And then that is, I think, yeah, that's the end of my turn. As far as I can go. Good luck. No greens? Oh, um, threat. Um, so, bigger and bigger can be space with an arrow or subject to force movement. This could be from what order to them. When a player places a threat card on the threat tracks, all figures and tokens that are on a space with an arrow must move one space in the direction. Wait. You push me back now. That's the challenge of this this map. Is going to be figuring that out. It's a neat mechanic. Like it's it's cool that they added these little extra things. Right? So. You need a green to get through, and then red to get through here. That's, is that your smallest green? 
No, I would no. use that. I would use the wild because you want the two up here. So that was one. Get through the green. Okay. And the red one allows you to go one. And the green one. one. Um, I'd use the yellow first. You got to get past that. So yellow, and, and then the green. Sense. Get through that one. Now I'm hoping we're doing that right. I, it says take an action. I don't think you can only take one move action. Because that would that that would just take forever to get through there. Um, let's see. Let's double check. Move. Uh, to, to, to resolve a threat, take a threat, draw cards. Action move. To perform a move action, first play one more card of the type in front of you. Total value of the cards, number of movement points of the character. Move your character across the dashed line, spend one of those movement points. If all action cards are played with the same color, your character can cross a matching solid red, blue, or green line by spending one movement point. If not, you spend three movement points. Card lines are Characters move in and out of space and contain enemies without restrictions. Characters are currently in or the star entries. Uh, after you've ended your movement for any reason, place your character anywhere within the des uh, designation place in the discard. Okay, move it. Um, it doesn't say. And that was something else. I read. I watched somebody else's video where they were doing this, and they didn't. They said that's one of the things. They had no examples. So something like this, where it's a move action. Are we only allowed to take one move action? Take multiple move action. In most games, you, you take one move action, but then if you think of like Marvel United, no, you, you took the number of move actions based on your your things. Um, we're gonna keep playing it this way. Um, I'll look it up later. I mean, this is the introductory mission, so it's it's no big deal. Um, but we'll we'll look it up. Uh, later, if you guys know that we're doing that wrong and it should only be one move action, then so be it. But I'm going to tell you, if we can only do one move action, that means we're going one space each time. Because, I mean, I guess if you had a green, you could go, because you used green to get through, right? So it would only take one move action. Or if you, had, you were here and you had a two green, it'd be one, two. You could actually make it through the green. And then you get pushed back. And, I don't know. But we'll go with how we were doing it. I think that's fair. All right. So you went, okay, so actually a you know, Whisper can't move. The Whisper has to hang back. He can't. Because we went through this, right? And it says every time you go through this, what did it say we were supposed to do? It was here. Uh, advancing the Spire. Oh, we went, the two of us went through. Um, yeah, that's why we can't, we can't go through all, all of us can't. Bella, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. That's not necessary. That will leave the neighbors alone. <laughs> so Bella is trying to guard the house. She's looking out the side window. So, yeah. That's, wait, so, so Whisper can't come. I mean, Whisper can go here, but she can't go any further. So if she gets green, you can get her out. If but not, then. then until, until I get green on them. Well, you can't you, because you don't have... You, you don't have enough cards. Like, you can't draw more cards if you don't have cards. You have to give away a card, so that way hopefully you can draw one. There's that. So that pushes me back one and pushes you back one. See, this is why I'm thinking we, you, you've got to be able to make as many moves as you can in a, yes. in a turn. Because that just, like, there's no way you'd get up there before it runs off the puts. I can run off the things, you're not going to. All right, so I have green. Which unfortunately is a half waste because I can only move one. Uh, and I have no red, but I do have two of these. So I can, sp uh, yeah, I have to spend three actions to get through there. And it is at the top. And yeah. So, all right, so it's Whisper's turn. Not, not bueno. Oi. One, two, that's four. Don't put them all down. So that, that pushed, that pushed me back. Is it for each one? Wait, 
it's for each one threat card so each threat so we're all we're all back here again <laughs> we all got pushed back to the beginning so even if we weren't playing the move cards correctly we're all back where we started all right so we did get a surge uh first surge go to 47-2 um it's a good thing none of us are afraid of tight spaces notes Messiah. thank you Maisie. I appreciate that, groans Grumple. Did this get any worse? Suddenly you hear a soft scattering uh -oh. sound. sound from above, from, from below. Ravenous roaches begin to squeeze through tiny holes and gasps in the old machine. Roaches! Oh, roaches! cried Messiah, warning its others. Grumble gives an ex exasperated cry and uh, thumps her head against the metal wall in frustration. I hate you, Missy. Oh, I love you too, Grumpy Kins. <laughs> he laughs. All right, encounter six roaches. Situation <gasps> hostile. So we the threats come off because we, we we did our surge. Um, so we get six roaches. One, two, three. They're, they're hanging out with you. Oh, I guess that's good. You can be back then. You can meet up on them. Three, four, five, six. They're surrounding you. <laughs> Icky roaches are surrounding you. Wait, what? what are you? Um, situation hostile. Resolve an enemy turn. So now it's hostile. Special rules. They're swarming. Whenever a roach token is defeated, immediately return it to play. And, oh, so once we defeat them, they, they go back. They don't, like, you basically never kill them. Roaches in the sprocket. Roaches can only cross the red line when all six of them are gathered on one space. Uh, at the end of the enemy activation, if all six roaches are gathered, uh, they are moving them all to the two space. Um, what is their hit points? Was there a roach card? No, I don't think it was a roach card, right? Oh yeah, um, roaches. Okay, there we go. Uh, roaches never die. <laughs> it's like, remember in the apocalypse, they said there's only one thing that's guaranteed to survive an apocalypse? Well, we saw mice survive the apocalypse, but roaches are guaranteed to survive the apocalypse. Okay, so they are... There we go, guys. We'll show you guys a card. Uh, so here are the roaches. They are special. They're small. They're bug. They have a defense of three, so that's at least they're easy for you to kill. Um... If it is a one to three threat, then they move two or can move two. And then it is attack X plus two. All roaches move, then all roaches attack. Roaches sharing a space attack together as one. X equals the number of roaches. Okay, so right now it's all six, but as they start moving after us, like, so if you move here, like if you move here and they come after you and you kill like one of them, or two of them, or whatever, then, um, then the next time they spawn, you put them back here so they won't be in the same space anymore. All right, so, oh, and that's kind of the same thing with attacking. Like, it's an attack action. Could you, like, okay, you've got a lot of red attack cards. Could you attack one, then attack the other, then attack, you know what I mean? Could you, like, attack so each one? Uh, multiple times that's just something it doesn't say like when you're doing an action perform actions all of your remaining action cards can be used to perform action during your turn you may perform as many actions you like as many okay here it is as many times as you like as long as you still have the variable card okay yeah so if you because they're they've only got like three hit points right and she does two damage by herself if you had, which unfortunately you don't, if you had four attack cards, then you would be able to attack four times. So you can attack as many as you want, you can move as many as you want. So we did get clarity on that. So if somebody left a comment down below telling us that rule that we missed, well, I just reread it. So we're, we're good there. And then it says they're swarming, right? It says situation hostile, and we have to resolve an enemy turn. So, uh, does that mean you don't finish your turn? I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. Because it says to resolve their turn. But do we resolve their turn now because they're on the board? I'm saying we resolve their turn now because they're on the board. Because you should be able to finish your turn before they go. 
So finish your turn, which you really can't. You could move. I mean, you could come over here. So that way they have to chase you. Because then when you kill them, they won't be all in the same spot anymore. So you move there. And then uh, keep your defense, I guess. I guess that's that's the end. So uh, resolve enemy turn. We have no threat on the roaches. So actually right now the roaches don't move because they have no threat. Or are we resolving the enemy turn because, yeah, it says an enemy turn, meaning you have to resolve a turn for them. So, yeah, so we resolve the enemy turn, though so they are allowed to move up to two. Um, they can move past the, the green line, which is not a problem, so they come up here and hang out with you. Again. Let me see. Um, and then they do damage plus two. So you currently have how much defense? Three? You have three, three defense. They're this, going to attack for eight. This counts on this. Yeah, so that's three. You this. can get up to five if you want to do the max. They're going to hit for. They're going to hit for eight. So. So you can either try not to take a wound by using your additional defense to bump it up, or you say, "I'm just going to risk it and hope you get good rolls." And, and we remember last night's rolls. See, okay. So you want to do your defense action? Well, no, that's, yeah, so you have to you have to play that for your defense action. So now you are at two, Sorry. four, five. Okay. So you need to get a plus three, or they, and they need to get zero or negatives. All right. So it's a new day. It's a new day. They got plus two. <laughs> so no. So Anthony takes a wound. You're at two of four, which is not bad. It's not bad. And you got your band-aids, right? So uh, you can use the band-aids, which basically gets rid of all damage. So I would just say once you get up to three, use your band-aids. All right. So that was the enemy turn. I have three, four. So I'm at four. All right. So we got pushed way back. Um... So if I make this green, right? I mean, I'm making it green. So that's two, four green, because I, I did green first. So I go one, two, three, four. I'm at number three. I think I, have we read three yet? No. Uh, you are on top of the machine. In front of you is a spiral dispenser gizmo. And somewhere in uh, uh, gizmo, and somewhere in the gloom, is a colorful bag of onion snoodles. Your rodent mouth waters at the prospect of chewing upon the baked, never fried goodness of the onion flavor injected cornstarch puff. <laughs> and you imagine the praise and recognition you'll receive upon returning with such a prize to the colony. We're going to be legends, giggles Ringer. Put each character's influence card into play. Woo hoo! Woo hoo hoo hoo! -hoo. Oh, so. Yep, we all get our character influence. It says put each. That means all of us get it because one of us made up. It. And it's funny because Ringer got up there and that was Ringer saying. So what the influence cards are, the influence cards are basically level three cards based on one of your skills. So because Ringer is kind of like the investigation guy, he gets the investigation. Um, of course, Messiah is ranged, so she gets arranged. Whisper has defense and then Grumple has her attack. So these are good, so you basically put these into play. Um, so we get our additional cards. Um, so now, it's way up there. I can get up there. One, two, three. But I can't move it. Um, so it says difficulty four. Okay, so we can use we can use anything, right? Any cards to get it through the line. So I can either go over here and try to do some investigation. I don't have any green, so I can't get. Well, I, I've got a I got a three. So if I go one, two, I think I'm gonna do that until you guys get up here. Um, so I'm gonna go do this investigation. I need one to get through that, and I need three to get through that. And then I can do three, four, five. So I have five, five investigations. So I'm going to keep this because that'll help us with the onion. I 
I guess after you play it, it's done. It's the first time we've had to play it, and so can, you only get to use your influence card once. Group tasks, player actions, enemy defeated, status, line of sight, ambiguous place, the campaign, and expanding the game. Or do we just put it in the deck and then when it gets shuffled, you got a chance of pulling it again? That, that would be the better thing. Alright, talk about that card anymore. Um, oh, eight. Character influence. Alright, it says put it into the game. It doesn't say what to do when you play the influence card. So again, another one of those things where a little bit more elaboration would be helpful. Um, just a little bit. So I'm going to think that it just gets put into the deck. Right? Yeah, that's how we're going to play it. It doesn't specifically say what to do with them. So we're going to say that you play it just like any other card, and that gives you a chance to, okay, to get yeah. it as well. Yeah. So what were these two? Oh, these are the first two I played right Yeah, That's so why I could move. All right. So then I can do my investigation. Um, so I was at, I did three, five. I'm at five. And I need a three. As long as I get a minus three, there's plus two. So definitely be able to succeed on that. And we got a broken equipment. That is useful. So we got armor. Ooh, that's going to come in handy. So it costs four to repair. Now we can only do that on a rest action or when we're back at base. So it's armor. It's noisy. Uh, you get plus one to your defense. And um, then you can power it up with batteries. All right. That. And then that is the end of my turn. So your turn. Hey, Grumple. Uh, Grumple. Yeah, it's Grumple's turn. Crisis. I mean, no crisis. All right. So that is the only thing. Oh, I didn't under the roaches. Ah, I was hoping. I was hoping you pulled all of them because then they wouldn't move for a while. They wouldn't do anything for a while. All right. So you have to roll the. Uh, four plus. If you roll a four plus, the hunt situation if enemies are in play are hostile. Oh, the hunt. So it's this situation. If enemies are in play, hostile. We don't have any hunt because we've killed everybody. So play, doing this action doesn't even do anything to us. Nobody, nobody in the hunt. Nobody is hunting us. That so now that hunt makes more sense to me. The hunt makes more sense because it's basically, as we're going from page to page, they're trying to hunt us down because we left them on the previous page. That's actually a neat mechanic. Okay. So I'm wondering, though, if once you get done the mission, if, if the hunt resets. It doesn't... I don't remember the book saying. I remember it saying you have the hunt. Okay. So that does nothing in this entire thing because we have nobody that we didn't kill. So that's actually good. All right, so you've got one to go here, and you need a green to get through here. So you can do one. your one to go there, and then your one wild to go there. Right? Oh, hang on. And you did the threat, which pushed nobody back because nobody was on an arrow. Right? Yep, so I'm right there. And then you weren't on this yet when we did the threat. All right? Uh, and then you have your three, but I would say let's save that for the onion snoodle as well. That'll that'll make it easier for us to get the onion snoodle down. And that's probably why they gave it to us, is because then you're doing three plus one, three plus one. Three, each one of us can do three plus one to get it down. You know. All right. So it is Messiah's turn. And I have two cards. One, three more. Hi, Cam. Hey, Cambot. How you doing, man? You're wondering if anybody's going to come visit with us today. All right, so I have, you missed the first part of this cam. We played it last night. Now the two hour, two and a half hour stream is of course up on YouTube. Uh, if you're wondering what this is. All right, so I need my greens to get through. I need both greens. So I need to get into this and then I can use my green three, one, two, three. That'll get me all the way through. So I'm gonna use Oh, but I can play these two. Okay, good. I'm gonna use that one to go here. I'm gonna use my green three for one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, what it would take to get up there, but I hate to get rid of all of it. 
That's four, which is enough to do the task. But you have blue, right? Or no, she can't go. You have red. I have red. <laughs> That's not very helpful for our group task. Um, I think I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna do four. One, two, three, four. That puts me up with the snoodle. Um, and then I can go ahead and contribute one to our group task. Which means the next one of us has to at least do a one or a blue to contribute on top of that. Okay. That is where we are. I'm looking back at you guys. Hola! Hola! Como estas? Muy bien, gracias, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it is Whisper's turn to whoop some butt. Let's do it, Whisper. You got it. Have faith in your ability. <laughs> All right, that's oh, that's a lot of range though, and you don't have range. Um, I mean, you can add to whatever you're doing. All right, so, so this is wild. So you can play that as wild for an attack. The so three. I, I would keep your defense. Remember, we want to probably keep your defense. Maybe put your defense. Maybe do this with the greens. Oh. Can I go like that? No, no, you want to attack these guys. You want to get them to stop chasing us. But you don't have. No, it's this fine. is attack. Okay. And then you can do your plus three. And then because you made it green, you have plus one. So, I, actually, do you need that much? You only need three. I'm thinking that's more than enough, right? Four? Or the way your rolls are being, being you want to go with six. <laughs> I'd say go with six. Hang on to this, though. I'd say, I'd say hang on to it. Um, yeah, because you have no ranged ability right now. Mm. All right. So you have six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine total attack. I, I believe you're going to take out a uh, roach. So... I wonder how many you take out, though, when you kill them. Is there only one? It's only one. I don't see you using both. I think you're only going to kill one. So three, four, five, so you're at six right now. That's that's enough to get through it as long as you don't have any bad rules. You'll be able to kill one roach. Kind of sad. So I need, so I need them to get... I need to you, get... You need, you need nothing. They just, if they get a three, they'll go up to six, and you're currently at six, so you'd have to get a one if they get a three. And hopefully no negatives. <laughs> there we go. Oh, um, so that's a, that's a wash. Yep. And so you were, you were high enough. Um, it really doesn't say, like, you did three damage. Does that mean you killed three of them? Doesn't say. Um, number of roach tokens defeated immediately return it. Roaches and sprockets can only cross the red line. That really doesn't say. Like, can you beat up all the roaches at one time, or is it just you? You 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 smacked one. <laughs> you you swung your chopstick and only hit one roach. <laughs> Threat, action, melee, defeated enemies. Target, if we know the character's enemies range, clear sight will not attack. Character items, nest, status, and sight. I I think you did three damage, so you killed three of them. Because they have one damn they have one hit point each, so I I, I say you, you killed three of them. You did three damage. That's how we're playing it. I don't know how you could swing and not hit three of them. They're swarming, remember? Alright. So that is that one. 
Um, you can't do an arranged attack. So if you want to, I guess, give me the two, maybe? Um, it's not like any of us can help you attack them. Um, or you can, yeah, actually, no, no, no. Give it to give it to Grumple, because Grumple still needs to go through. So give Grumple the two. No, 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 no. The, the, two, uh, the two ranged attack. Or three. I'm sorry, you have a three. Oh, the three. We'll see him though. I thought it was. No, no, I thought no. it was a. Yeah. All right, because yeah, that'll get Grumple one, two, three. That's good. All right. Um, and we did all that. Okay. So now it is the bad guy's turn. So they are a one. So it doesn't matter which one. So they attack now because you've already killed three. So they have an attack of five. Um, you have a defense of three. You can increase your defense a total of. Five more if you want, or you can increase your defense by three and make it six. They hit for five. You just maximum defense. Yeah. All right, maximum defense. That's five plus three, so you're at eight defense. Here you go. So no more defense for you, and they were weaker, so. Siakobo, nothing happens, uh, and the threat goes away. All right, so that was good. And then it is my turn, so I need four. One, two, three. Three. And are you going to go after those three? I guess it depends. I didn't get any... Um, I didn't get any green, and I don't think I got any yellow, so I actually... Bump it. These aren't gonna. Right. They do very well. Well, they look like playing cards. There's, and that's why I said the Radlands is using a new synth card. And in my opinion, if that works well, like if those PVC synth cards are all they're cracked up to be, and they're not that expensive and become more popular, in my opinion, every game company should put their cards in that, right? Because then you know, nobody's got to worry about sleeping them and all that. Now, the sleeping industry might be kind of upset about that. <laughs> um, so what I've got, four. So I need one more, five. Woo! All right. So, all right. I got my two. That would get me either in here if I want to do investigation, but I only, I only have two investigation on a three. If I start with four, or I can go... You did one blue, so I could go two, one, two, and I could do my go two more to move up. This would be my red one. Yeah, let me let me go. I'm going to help you up there, so. There's already one, three, two, three, and four. That's fine. Two. One, two. Play this two. One, two. Two more there. Um, and I think once the group task is finished, we put those cards back, if I'm not mistaken. And then I can go ahead and start. So I did that, right? So once you complete this success, so we did the four, right? Upon success, move the heavy object token and all figures in that space um, that contributed to the adjacent space. So we all, we, we, both of us moved. One space. Yeah, both of us moved down. Um, and then we reset this to zero. Put that there. Go ahead and I will start the next one. So we're at mm -hmm. three. And, um, Tiakobo, no mas. Right? Yeah. Okay. So it is Grumple's turn. So can, we want to get Grumple all the way up to the top. We don't want any threat cards for Grumple. And we'll put it under the roaches. That slid you back one. 
That's okay. I mean, you got the three green, so that's fine. You still got your three green, right? So, yeah, so use your, your three green to move, right? So what, one, two, three. So you got through the green. That was the most important thing. You need to come up here, and you need to play one red. That's that's ideal, because then we're not... Okay, do you want to hang on to that? So you need to go one, two, three spaces. Okay. Yep. Um... I don't have any cards, so I don't know what Messiah is going to get. I, I don't know if she's going to get a blue or a red, or he's going to get a blue or a red. So it's it's up in the air which one you do. It doesn't matter which one, just whichever you want to do. No, 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 no. You have to get a different. So you have to play to move. One, two, three. All right, and then you can add one red. So that puts us at four. That drops us back down, and then all slide down. And you have to stay back there. Don't come over this line. We're working too hard to get this to come down. <laughs> and then you can play. You can start the next one. Okay. Start the next one. Three again. All right. Back ball. Messiah's turn. Five. Woohoo! Oh, that worked out good. All right. So, group task. Set back down to zero. Slide here. Um, then, okay, so we only need three again, or four again. So, do four. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right, so now this next one is going to require us to, we have to have green. Now, here's the thing. Here's the fun part, though. If we get threat cards once we're here, it's going to move it down for us. Because oh. it says move and all tokens, so that's a token. So we got it on the conveyor belt. There's no arrow there. But if we can get it past this first green one, it's going to slide all, It's going to slide us down. So it's kind of like we want to get the threat at that point. Here, I'm guarding the front. She's guarding the back. You're, you're, you're holding up the, the top, making sure nobody gets our snoodles. All right, um, I can't do anything with these. Um, I do have a defense, so I'm going to give Whisper the defense. I'm going to hang on to the idea. Just the idea. <laughs> oh, no, no, it was, and who all contributed. So you contributed on the last one, but I didn't contribute on the last one, did I? I contributed with yours. So actually, I need to pay that. So I would have had to move down one. Yeah. So it only there? it only moves who's contributed. Hmm. So <clears throat> I contributed to move down the one time. Then you, me, and you contributed on the next one. I would have been left behind one, so I had to catch back up. I think that's right. You know, I think it was only one. Right. Now it's Whisper's turn, and she gets to wreck some havoc. Destroy the cockroaches. Mm. Oh, nobody's on there, so why couldn't you get that in one more turn? <laughs> no say. No. All right. All right. So you need to beat up some cocky roaches. You have no oh. attack. Well, no. You can play any of these cards to initiate the attack. You're just not going to get the bonus from the attack. So the most you can play would be, if you wanted to play both your defenses, that would give you an additional four on top of your three. So that would make it seven, or you could play all of your ones and save your defense. If you played all of your ones, that would save your defense. So you're going to attack for three and three, so six. Okay. Well, these watch each other out. So you did six. They only had three. Go the other three and push them back on the square. Unfortunately, all you're doing is keeping them at bay because they're going to come on. Now it's their turn. So they get to move. Now the thing is, the snoodles are off, so you can actually get past this. 
think now, because the Stoodles, you know, we got the Eagles now. Alright, so they did, now they're going to attack. So you want to defend? You want to take the damage. Defend? Okay. I'm going to defend. So you're at six defense. Okay. And they only do. So minus two made them weaker, so you took zero damage. All right. So it is. Oh, get rid of the threat off of them. Just the. No, just the one under them. The other threat just is. No, no, put the other threat back where. And then take the threat off of the roach. Because oh. they, they, they did their turn. Uh -oh. Put that under the roaches. There. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, so I'm doing ringer, right? Um, so I have four. That's good. Um, and they're wild, so they can count as green. So we can move it past here. Unfortunately, that means I leave you behind. I'm going to ride it all the way down the conveyor now. Again, why couldn't I get the threats after I play? And then I have a two. Which isn't going to help me. So I can start the next team challenge. Now it is... Grumple's turn. Grumple's turn. So it's weird, there's two different, I just realized this. This exit, we can actually go through this exit, but it says go to page 49, right? If you go to this exit, you succeed. So I'm wondering what happened, I wonder if page 49 is you exited here, so you go to another map, maybe. Because that's, right that's, that's the easier way out. And then you have to carry the snoodles all the way through another map, probably. Okay, but we want the right. No, because this is the it. easy. This is the easy okay. way out. Yep. So Grumple. Okay, Grumple's here. So you need green to get past. So mm -hmm. you only need you only need one. The only thing the only thing is you can um, contribute. Oh, we need to go through a green line. That that was I, that that was stupid. That's that's not, that's not useful. You need green to be able to to do this part. To do the no, to do the move, you need these for the group task. Um, so you want to use your wild to get on top of the snooze. And, and they then, still go here. Yep. So you did well. Now you can just discard them because it's four. So that moves you forward, but I stay behind because <laughs> I didn't contribute. All right. And then we have we have defense. I'm gonna give that to Whisper. Because we need greens. We got greens is the only thing that's going to help us right now to get through uh, spots. All right, so we got Messiah way up here. All right, you guys are doing a great job down there. I think I'm going to go over this way. But actually, let me give that. I was going to give that to Messiah. Or Messiah is He's looking at me. Hey, oh, freebie. Although, oh wait a minute, we hit that four last turn, right? Oh, so plus one, two time, and then remove all threat cards. All up, honey. Yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't say the bad guys attack. It just says surge. Um. So there's a new one under the bad guy. There you go, bad guy. I have a new one. I'll play that. And two, have Investigation. She's not as good, so I'm going to do both of those. That gives her four, or it gives him. I still, it just looks like this is a girl. Like, this should have been a she as well. Not to say Grumple shouldn't have been a girl, but like, you know, those I feel were the boys, those I feel like were the girls. Uh, so, what did I say I'm at? I'm at four, I'm at five. And I need to have a Plus two, so I'll do this one. We got three cheese. Three cheese. But nine cheese. 
right? And then I'm gonna give this to Whisper, so she has some attacking power. And now it is Whisper's turn. All right, so you have all six of them on you again. Um, the most you'd be able to do would be Oh no, you have a the wilds too. That's really all. you can do that, or you can make it four by using your defense, but then you wouldn't have any defense when they attack you. Very good. Go with two, because that'd be two, three, four, that'd be five. Oh no, oh no, no, yeah, see, they can't. Well, no, you could attack twice. Oh. But you could attack two here. You could attack two there. You could attack twice, try twice. Okay. okay. Alright, so you do your two. So two, three, four, you're at four. They only have three, so you have enough as long as. Don't get pluses and minuses. <laughs> no plus or minus. So that washes each other out, which is fine. Um, but you did four damage. They only have three, so you got rid of one. Or you didn't get rid of them, you pushed them all the way back. And then you want to attack again? Let's see. So minus one for you, which puts you down to three, which means they blocked it. Don't you discard? Oh no, that's that's true. All right. So I'm up here in the investigation. You want to give me that investigation card? Let's see. I is up here, so she can investigate. And then it is the Kakarochi's turn. You're gonna add your defense. Then. We're ready. The cockroaches. <laughs> so you're gonna add your defense. No, no, you have to defend. All right, so that's two, three, two, four. So you got five defense. <coughs> they attack for there's four of them, so they attack for six. Here we go. Minus one for you, plus two for them means they attacked. Did you want to use your Band aids. And then it will remove this one. All right. How much do we have to do? Um. Discard all characters, remove all, characters all wounds, wounds and toxic wounds at no, no cheese. cheese cost during this. Oh, during the nest action, we can't nest because it's hostile. Okay, so you can only use that during a nest action. All right, we have to get we have to get down there and help. I mean, you can run through here on your next turn to get from them. Move the threat. Yeah, I mean, you can you can you can run away, and I'll, I'm I'm going to bring Ringer down, and then Rumpel's coming. So I I think you're good, but yeah, you're, you need to start running. All right, Ringer's turn. Oh yeah. Although a threat right now wouldn't be the worst thing because it would move the it move the cheese noodles. Get two threats, it'll move it out of completely. I said you can just pass this. You can't. It's a double double. That one you can at all? At all. Remember double double white lines you can't go through at all. So you're basically stuck. There. I don't know why I was still doing it that way when I decided that was just a purple shovel. Uh, and also, our sump pump, if you guys heard that, doesn't sound like it's doing too well. And I, it keeps kicking on and it's frozen outside. Like, I don't know if you're, I mean, you can't not have the sump pump going because stuff's melting, right? 
So, yeah, you don't want the basement to flood. But... Alright, so Calamity doesn't do anything because you don't have a hunt, so that's fine. Um, Alright, so... If I use... I don't have... So if I use this three, that gets me past one. It's going to be hard for me to help you. Three. I oh, know these are wild. This one wild to go two. This one wild. I'm down here. That way I'm going to be closer because you're going to leave. So they'll attack me because I'm closer now. And I have one investigation that I will give to the side. It is Grumple's turn. So Grumple needs to do four, and you have to start it with a green unless you get a threat, which will help us because it'll be. Are you looking at the bottom of the cards? No. Yeah. All right, so you do have a green. All right, so you can start it with the, the green uh, group task. Start it with the green, so that's one. You need to do four total to get you to get it to move. But it's, yeah, it's got to be same color or same number. So this one you can't because you have the same number. You got to use those three. That's fine. That's fine. Yep. Well, now you can discard them. Four. Discard them. One. Now, like this this one here only requires four, and you can be any color. So just, that starts it, so you got two. So it is Messiah's turn, right? Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't get, I only get two, no, three, man. He already has those. Oh, that wasn't too bad. All right. So I can do my investigation first. So that's four, five. Minus two puts me at three, which is still enough, so it's a good thing I got these extras. We get three crafting material. Three, five. Oh, no, we forgot to give back our seven from building. So that would put us at we're at two. That was seven to build, wasn't it? That's nine. And then I just got three more. Well. Alright. Um so discard those. And then I have I have three, six, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Here we get the snoodle. Gets rid of those. Or no, 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 I don't. Well, yeah, yeah, that's fine. You're on top of two. You're gonna run. You're gonna leave. So I'm gonna give this to Ringer because Ringer has no defense. Ringer has no. Okay. That is Mzaya's turn. Okay, so it's Whisper. Whisper needs to get herself out of dodge. There's no threat on him right now, so. Oh, well, there's threat on him now. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Uh, you can move up to two if you want to come up here and help move the bag. So can you go one, two? Oh no, it's got a red. You have to use your three or no. Okay, yeah, use your use the one to get through, right? The one will get you through. Then you need to move one to get on top of it, right? One to get on top of it, and then you need two to move it. Doesn't matter, either one. Use it. Discard those cards. Chilling back here in the back. What do you got? What do you have left? Three? Three. You can start it. Start the next one. Oh, we have to use it. We need that anyways. Yo, that's perfect. Because we needed red to get through. I didn't even see that when you played the other one. But yeah, it was perfect. Okay. That gets that one. And then, so now it is 
Trumple, or no, that was Whisper. So now it's the bad guy's turns. The roaches are going to attack me. So I have three defense. They attack for two plus, it, it actually it didn't even matter. Well, I can try. They attack for eight. They have to have a negative and I have to have a positive. Negative two, so they attacked for six. Plus two is still not enough defense because I have zero defense. I take a wound. All right. So now it is, uh, give it a threat. It is Ringer's turn. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I can beat up on some peoples. Oh, I can do lots of beating up. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm doing seven damage. Minus one to them, plus zero, so that's say three, two. I did seven. I got rid of everybody. <laughs> All right, that, and then I will give this card to who's going next? Grumple, right? There you go, so then Grumple can move the bag in her turn. Right, that's fine. Well, no, that's, that's fine, you put the thread on, that moves me on top of the bag. Um, you put the under thread underneath of them. Which nobody moves because there's no other arrows. We're currently trapped on the, the coin the coin flipper flapper thing. Alright, so you want one more to be able to move the bag? One I gave you. Hmm. So you can discard those. It's down, except for me, because I didn't contribute. Mm -hmm. Um, you can start the next one. Well, no, we need green to start it, so you can't mm -hmm. even start it. Um, if you want to give Whisper some defense, because they're going to go after who's the weakest. Right. You want to give, yeah, give that to him. Okay. You. you can only give one card. Yep, and that one's yours. You just have to hang on to it. It's Grumples. Alright. Fire. One, two. Wrong, wrong pile. That's the face of pile. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Put Messiah. So we have a surge. So time goes up by one. Who time to get rid of all of the threat. Alright. I need to move for one. Nothing. I can't. I can't use these attacks. And investigation would allow me to do a range attack. All right. So I'm going to give this to Ringer. He's going to attack next. Yeah, because we don't want to send Whisper in here. Well, they're going to come in anyways. If we get another threat card, they're, they're going to move in on us. I think I'm, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk that they don't come in and then I can shoot them. That's, my, that's what I'm going with. Is that what you're going with? I will be successful and they will not come in here? Well, actually, I'm sorry. It's not on my success. It's how well Grumple draws cards. <laughs> it is how well Grumple draws cards. Grumple got four, that's good. We need a four, we need green. We need green for our group task. We can start it with the green, and now you can actually put 
one of these. That, which gives us four. four. You did it all by yourself, so all of us have to jump off. So you go here, you hit that mark. It says carrying the snoodles. It says if you carry the snoodles to that space, go to the success entry on your mission card. So that was it. That was it. They didn't even have a chance to do anything else because you got to the exit. So we will go ahead and now do the proper success. We'll take everybody, put them where they need to be, and we will need to hunt down our. All the people, all the, all the cards to go back. Well, we need to also hunt down, hunt down our these cards. Those need to go back in our boxes. Search for. Them. Yeah, while I'm while I'm flipping to the page that we need. All right. So guys, we did actually succeed this time, so we're gonna go ahead and do the proper success uh, scenario. Uh, we'll do pretty much what we did yesterday, and we'll go through um, that part of the game. So 98.1, or 98-1, I'm thinking, every time I say 98.1, it makes me think of a radio station. <laughs> All right. So we arrived at Abigail Lane. So we have the, the snoodle bag. Hello, snoodle bag. One snoodle bag. You're carrying it. Here you go. You get the snoodles. All right. So we heal up because we're back home, right? So we're all healed up. I think it tells us to do this in the next step, but that's what we Oh! Oh, Shadow. Or Smokey. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we did that. We success. We get five food. That puts us at 14 food, which is good, good, good. Uh, we get one of those, and then it says banish. So this goes into the banish deck. Banish is... Uh, banish is the one with the X on it. So that means that mission is no longer there. We can't do that mission anymore. Um, and then it says go to 98.3, which we did yesterday. So if you want to know this part of the story, then of course, yesterday's video, we go over this part of the story. And then it says go to page 101. I put them in my boxes. I took care of that. Yep. Um, the roaches go back up here. Has the board back the way it's supposed to be? Yes. All right. So side mission, we didn't have any side mission. Uh, clue, we didn't find a clue on that one. Event step, when the character's away in the mission, the colony is vulnerable. Subtract the time allowance listed from your dial um, on the dashboard. Subtract the time allowance listed on your mission card, oh, which was five, from here, so it's four, right? The difference is the number of events that befell the colony were gone, so four events. For each event that befell your colony, oh, four events. One, two, three, four. All right. For, okay. For each event that befell your colony, reveal an encounter card from the deck. Do not shuffle. Go to the event entry on 103, and then we got to figure out what happened to us now. So, 103. So we know 17, because I, I found this card. I made sure that this was the card that was supposed to be next, just in case it was used for that other map, which it wasn't. So it's same thing. So the merchant came... We don't have a market, but we do get the plus two. Um, so that puts us at nine there. Then we have number 16. So the merchant came a second time thinking maybe we set up our market and we hadn't yet. Yeah. So that puts us at 11. Um, then number 15, uh, raiders came on vehicles demanding food as some kind of tax. When we refused, they threatened to take people instead. Um, if they attack, lose two cheese, or one population or population in any combination. To prevent them, we need rodent traps and junk barriers. Wow. All right, so we have a lot of food. So I think we'll just lose two food. That puts us at 12. I don't want to lose any of our population. I'm not going to sacrifice our people for the better good. <laughs> Number 20. The strangers had a feral look, but we gave them shelter. It wasn't until they left that we realized things were missing. So raid, draw an action card. When a result of one, two, three, okay, so we need action card. Okay, so these are the action cards. Okay. 
Um, prevention, we need training grounds, which you don't have. Uh, calamity, we lose three population. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, we have a calamity. All right. So that was that. Okay. Um, so let <laughs> me go back. That was our misfortunes. Uh, counting step. Feed the population. Uh, minus a cheese for each one of your population. So we have... Now we only have five populations, so not to say that was a benefit, but a one, two, three, four, five. That puts us at seven. Uh, that's it. To get zero, we lose. Build stage. So we, I think we want to build the same thing we did last time, right? So we can build, we can make this armor. So I can make you some armor. I think we definitely want to do that, right? Make you some armor. So who do you want to have one more armor? Whisper or Grumple? So Whisper's already at three. Grumple's only at one, so I probably you probably want to give that to Grumple. Alright, so Grumple gets armor, and then we want to build our tower again, right? Which cost, how much did the tower cost? The lookout tower. It's in the, the one with the compass symbol on it. The lookout post costs seven. The lookout post costs seven. Yep. So there we go. So we have the lookout post. This goes in the colony box now. All right. And then check victory step. If you've completed the personal goals, which we have not done, uh, save step, return everything in there. Um, but that's if you don't want to... Did you want to play another round? And that only took us about an hour. So. All right. So... We have to set everything back up again, so we have to shuffle these. And then we have to go back to the very beginning. To the beginning of time! Alright. Shuffle those, we'll shuffle these. And so now we'll get into the first main mission. So the main difference between uh, your first gameplay and your follow-up gameplay, um, you get to prepare for your mission. All right, so we prepare for what our mission is going to be. Um, and you get to choose them. It's not saying it's random. It doesn't say choose at random. So we're going to go with that we get to choose. So for our missions, um, I don't know if some are easier than others. So I'm thinking we want to go with one that is, here's a side mission. Uh, we get morale. This one we get population, which would be good because we lost some people that last Um, This one, if it's a side mission, we get morale. So I'm thinking for the side mission, we'll do the one with the people, right? All right, and then for main mission, these are all main mission, side mission, side mission. So let's see here, where are these in relation to where we are? So this one we can do in any location. We're just going out foraging, trying to find food. Uh, we're kind of okay on food right now, I guess. Uh, this one here is on D1, which is way over here, central place. We'd have to go all the way here to central place. This one here is on C2, right here, so we'd have to go through about the same number. This one here is on B3, which is way down here, so 4 to get to that one. This one here is on D3, which is way more to get through that one. This one's the one that continues the story, which is C3, which same thing, it's way down here. And those are side missions. Um, I say probably central place, because I mean, that's... So this one here... Um... Oh, okay, so this one you get, because we're just finding, we're foraging for food. No, we don't want to do that one. All right. House hunting on central place. I think all these are on foot, yeah, foot, on foot. 
Um, those are sites. Okay. All right. So I guess I'll read. I'll read the ones, and then you can choose which one you want to do. Um, I think sideswipe's too far away. B three. B three is too far away. I don't want to. We're not playing that long. <laughs> uh, B three is four away. C2 is four away. Okay, so these are all four away. So it's all eight, eight A, eight B, eight C. Um, oh, it's kind of neat that they're all eight. Okay, so house mission, house hunting in central place. Um, all right. Patch points to the map he's drawn on the ground. This is a uh, house squint and Dewey identified. It looks promising, but you can bet we're not the first to think so. I want uh, you to scout the perimeter and look for a way in. There might be other items of interest, but food is always a priority. Be, sh be on your tippy toes. There's bound to be hostiles in and around the house. Okay. This one here, house hunting in North Bend. Um, patch points to the map. Okay. Twiggy and Fern discover this location and like the look of it. I agree with their assessment, uh, so I'm sending you to scout it out. Food is the priority, but keep your eyes open for anything interesting and avoid the local color. Then, house hunting in the chandeliers. Chandeliers. Uh, Chuck and Sprout have written this place off, but our acquisition of the boat changed their minds. I've got a good feeling about this one but I'd hazard others have said the same thing. And on countering hostels, keep your eyes peeled for munchies and knickknacks, and above all, stay safe. So here's the thing, it mentioned the boat. We don't have a boat. So maybe you do have to do these in this order. I mean, it doesn't really say. I guess we'll just do them in order. We'll do 8A first? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do these two. All right. Um, even though number two is next. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do, these are our two missions. Um, we're doing outreach. So there are suffering creatures in the world, animals lost and confused without humans. Keep your ears up. Patch was both passionate and lecturing. Um, and keep your eyes open and darting tidbits added. Use all of your senses, but don't shoot until you're certain the situation has gotten hostile. Use your words. All right, so these are our two missions. So, um, so we chose that. Choose a player to be a bookkeeper, so you are the bookkeeper this time. Uh, it is important that you actually have a bookkeeper. Um, I saw it either in a rule or on a card somewhere that whoever's the bookkeeper is the one that would have to take that option. Um, so both of yours are wearing two-handed weapons. Okay, so I can't trade this with you. I was thinking maybe I could give you a ranged weapon, but you only have two-hand weapons. So if you ever get a one-hand weapon, then I can give you a, a gun. Then you can have both, right? All right. Um, da, da, da. So set the time back to zero. Everything else stays the same. Uh, players choose and equip as many items as they like, which is pretty much everything we've got. Uh, follow any setup instructions listed on your main mission card and read your main missions um, Fiction and goal. So, main goal, special setup. Shuffle and counter cards 21 together with three other random encounter cards. Place these cards on the top of the deck. So 21, 21, 21, 21. It says with three other random, so I guess we choose them. Oh, no, it says random, right? Random means random. Random means you don't know. But it's saying just random cards. We don't care which cards you pick. We'll do, we'll do random. We'll do, the, we'll do the shuffle one random. We'll go with one, two, three. Okay. Definitely can't wait till we get the new table. <laughs> we don't, we don't have enough room. All right, so let's just shuffle these. AC is on the top of the encounter deck. 
Uh, no special setup for... There we go. Uh, if given a choice of travel method, if you have no vehicle, cards, um, or have not built the workshop, you must choose to go on foot. So you have to go on foot. Travel by foot, move the location marker to the adjacent space on the travel map and go to the page listed on that space. So we can only either go to E Street or Parkway. That's all we can do. So we're going to go to E Street. Um, and then so we've already been to E Street, so we're going back again. And so that's the the gist of the story is you do have to go through each area. I would almost imagine the vehicles are going to let you skip around a little bit more, um, which actually it probably said right here. If traveling by fast travel, again, your box. You need to put grippy things on the bottom of your box. Uh, if traveling by fast travel, you discard two batteries and add the time cost to the dial, move the party location, then if traveling by vehicle, discard two batteries and then go page, go to page 35, which there is no 35 here, so it must tell you to do something. But we can only go by foot because that's all the card will allow us to travel as. Right? We got all of our goodies back. We have to sort our goodies back out. Three, oops. Three, right. Um, that one. That one. Total. Alright, so there we go. So we gotta set this up again. Um, plus one time. This is your first time page during the campaign. Read the following, otherwise skip to setup. We do plus one for our time setup. Put our guys at the entrance again. Our guys and gals. We got guys and gals here for the girls and the boys. You had said Messiah was a boy. Yes. Guy. I keep calling Messiah a boy and a girl. I keep switching him. He's he's he, he's deciding what he wants to do. Oh. Um we did that. Uh, encounter. Draw an encounter card. <laughs> Uh, go to E1, E1 or E2. Hold it right there, snarls the leader. Uh, though his paw trembles, they are no match for your crew, and darn well know it. There is a chance that talk could darn well know it. Oh. <laughs> There's a chance that talk could lead to negotiation and a lack of bloodshed. Encounter. Number of random nomads equals number of characters. We have some random nomads here. We have four of us, so we'll just choose these guys as our random nomads. Um, loot is a broken item, so we'll go ahead and put this broken item here so we know. Um, and we'll just do it here. The ba -ba -ba situation is safe. Uh, see, safe and hostile. Special rule making friends. If the party successfully, successfully communicates with all of the enemies, Go to 5-2. Full reminder. The situation is safe. Um, enemy figures on the board can be communicated with. Um, to perform a communication action, targeted enemy sharing your character space and resolve the light bulb skill, which means I'm the communicator. <laughs> uh, the difficulty of the test is equal to the combination value of the enemy's card. Uh, if you succeed at this skill test, remove the figure and its enemy card from play. In addition, remove one threat from the threat track and one population increase. Uh, if you fail, then the situation becomes hostile, meaning flip the token over and they start beating up on us. All right, so here are the nomads. One, two, three, four. Let's put them on the track. Right now they're not hostile. They're chilling, trying to Trying to determine if they want to be our friends or not. All... Oops, hang on, I put them way too close to us. <laughs> Alright, they're way up here. There we go. Um, I think when it's safe, I don't think they move. I, I, don't, I don't know. 
I don't know if they move. Nomads move. Group task, skill tests, battery. Resting, expanding the campaign. Long in turn, top slot. Let's turn the action, move, target. Field test, resolve, threat, recovery, revisiting, okay. There's go to the page you've already been to during the same mission. Oh. Oh, during the same mission, that was it. Um. Let's see. Communicate. It just says the same thing it said there. Cover. Enemy turn. Uh, to resolve an enemy turn, starting with the enemy at the top slot of the threat, try to continue downwards. Activate each enemy one in time until the enemy's player then activate it once. So activate the enemy do the following. Determine action. Check the value in the threat card. Turn the enemy's card, match the threat card. That action will determine the enemy's speed range. Move. Enemy is sharing space carriage again, but otherwise move a character towards the nearest road. It will require at least the movement to reach space. Um, target, which wouldn't happen, and attack, which isn't going to happen because they're not hostile. So, I guess we still move them. I mean, you, you put them there. Like, there's nothing in the book about nomads. This, this is your nomads. So yeah, I wanna, I'm gonna be the one that needs to talk to them, so that way we can make sure that, hopefully we succeed. It, it's weird, you would think Mazaya would be the diplomatic one, but Ringer's the diplomatic one, and he's the, the headstrong one. It makes no sense. All right, so, yeah. We did that. We did the encounter card, little reminder, scavenge, always needs resources. I guess uh, Ringer will go first and see if I can get up there to them. Three, four, five. All right. Oy. That's not all. Minus two. Whew. Good job. <laughs> Oh, I guess we don't need the cheese noodles anymore. All right, good job. All right. Um, so I do have a green, so I can get through here. And then I need this to talk to him about. So I'm going to use this one go right here. I'm going to hang on to this until it's my turn again. All right. So it is Grumple's turn. I have to change the title of this one. The the thumbnail. The thumbnail says we're only playing that other part. It's not saying we're um, on the mission. So yeah, because that's um, wild. Well, yeah, it's a wild. I move. Yeah, you can move too. Are you going to go somewhere to investigate, or what did, um... we don't want to? You don't want to attack them yet. I mean, if you just want to come up here just in case they go hostile. So you want to you want to go here? If you want to do that, take your two back. Use one, and then you have your three. Your three. Investigate. Die. So you need at least a two. So as long as you get higher than a minus one, you're good. Plus three. All right. So what did you find us? You got a battery, which is good because your armor can use a battery. All right. And then you have some stuff left. But do you want to you want to move up into here? I mean, you can't you can't investigate, investigate again. Yeah, you can't investigate again. You can if you use this to get through the line instead. Oh, because I can move. Up. Can can I move just? Well, no. You use the three. 
to get through the line, and then you would use this to investigate. Wait, three, wait, three, wait. Get, three gets through any color line. Um, okay, so. so you do that, three, and then you can use the two to investigate, so roll the die. And you fail. And then I guess you hang on to your attack because you can't do anything with it. I mean, you can't attack it right now, so I'd say just hang on to the attack. Alright, so it is Zaya's turn. Anymore. This is much easier for the card. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <You try> to... <laughs> Every time I see you do that, I'm like, watch it, I'm waiting for the final fall. But how can I see? I mean, if I can see, I can still not shuffle them back with just one hand. No, but it's just, it just, it looks very difficult when you pull it off, that's all. Alright, so we have everybody with threat almost. Okay. So... If I have move... I don't have any talking actions. I have any investigation. Investigation. So I can actually get all the way... Let's see, maybe I should have seen it, but we get back to Messiah and it's like... One, two, three. Move. And then just don't do any good. I'm not attacking anybody right now. I guess I'll hang on to both of them for now. Well, I can't use this at all. This is not. Alright, let's push turn. They got a they got a gun they got a gun point the gun's pointed at. I got all owners. All ones and a threat. So the last guy has now got threat. Although now they won't move, so the threat really doesn't do anything on their turn because I'm in the square with them. So they'll just stay there. Investigate. So you have two investigations, but you have to be able to get through here first. You want to go up this way. Yeah, you got all ones. But even if you did, you'd have to do one to get here and then the wild to get through here. Why do I have to go back there? You're, you're, you're whispering now. Unless you want to go all the way up here. Okay. Don't get rid of your yellows, you need that to investigate. Yeah, get rid of the red. Okay. To do your wild to get through the line. And do two. Yeah, two to investigate, and then pull your die. Plus two. Alright, what do you want? So, two gears. I'm sorry, I touched your board a little while ago. That was like the last time when, when you oh. switch when you switch maps, the other person's supposed to control it. So like the first time we went to Injo, you were supposed to control it. I'm so controlling. <laughs> All right, so it is the bad guy's turn. They can't move, they can't attack because it's not hostile. So we just remove all the threat. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. If there are enemies in play, once we hit four, which we did right there, right? I, th I think they became hostile. They're gonna be beating the snot out of... Yeah, I can't defend from all of them. Holy cow, that was not a good idea. Um, okay, the four more threat cards on the threat track go to that... Yep, so it's Surge. Done. Plus one to time, so add one to time. So this, because this is at the end of your turn now, but before they go. So you have to check threat. So that's the last thing we did was we check threat, put, the, put them back on. Um, right here it says do Surge. If there's enemies in play, uh, then it becomes hostile. But we can't. We can't convert them now. They are now hostile. Alright. So, the first guy goes, which is the leader, this guy here, and I am the closest one to him. 
So he is going to attack. What's the three? The meekling leader, the guy at the top. I have an odd feeling Messiah is going down. I, I don't. I don't see myself surviving. Um. So the meekling leader can do a melee attack, or no, uh, heal. So he can move two. He's not going to move. He can do a range attack for two, but he's in close. He's going to do a melee attack for four. She's minus the number of meekling in play, including this one. Oh wow. So he's stealing two, so he's going to make us lose four cheese. So we lose four cheese. Or no, is that on a successful attack? I wonder if that's only done on a successful attack. Because you think about it, if he couldn't successfully attack me, how would he steal anything? I don't even say, just as five. Yeah, it doesn't even say. It's got it in the book, but it doesn't even say how, how this is played. Uh, any turn, okay, target, okay. No, the tax one or something. Okay, the main tax character. Character may defend the result uh, by resolving an opposed skill test of a tribute. The difficulty of the test is equal to the amount of Target succeeds uh, in the opposed test. The attack misses, otherwise, attack and post. Yeah, it doesn't talk about their abilities at all. It doesn't say whether you do that ability on a success or not. It's kind of like mine, my other one. Here, it said after successfully attacking, that was my starting weapon. The successful attack. Those don't say whether you do it if it's successful or not. I'm going to say these only happen if it's if it's successful. It doesn't seem like that would happen. Oh, okay. Now, see, this one says after attacking, after attacking, after attacking. This one doesn't say after attack. I guess you just do it. All right, we're just going to do it. That's fine. We're going to lose. You already moved that down, right? Okay, so move it down four, because there's four of them now. And then the attacks for four. My defense is zero. Um, so it doesn't really matter, because even if I play this one, that's only increasing it one. And I'd have to get a three to roll a four, and he'd have to have a negative. All three of them are, atta all of them are attacking me. What's that guy get attacked for? Five. That one attacks for four. Ah, I can see him. That one attacks for four. That one attacks for four. Mm. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. She's... She's nesting in there, which is what, what I'm going to need to do here in a few minutes. <laughs> but we can't because we're hostile. All right, so that's fine. Um, what did you put your... Huh? The cardboard there. Oh, I moved it. There, it's in the office. All right, well, that's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> I can't do a defense action. So, he hits me. I remove his threat from the first guy. Then the second guy goes. So, he... Uh, let me reread this. This is some of the rules that they just don't have enough clarity on. They really don't. But this is the checking threat, right? We're doing the check threat. We made it, no, we made it hostile. Oh, no, no, okay, I'm sorry, no, no, he doesn't attack me. So if the enemy, it says, oh, no, 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 hostile, we resolve an enemy turn. So now we do the enemy's turn. Okay, we're doing all right. All right, so the next guy is attacking. He attacks for five. So we 
yeah, uh, there's no point in me defending against him. Take another wound. Move his threat. I'll go ahead and defend against this guy. And since, you know, why not? So one defense. He attacked for zero more, three more, so that puts me at four. He attacks for four, so I block that one. That's good. Wow. That was a perfect roll. So I that threat. And then I have no more defense, so the last guy's going to hit me. Well, I am already at three damage. Yeah, I need to get my butt out of town. Uh, and then go ahead and remove that threat. That was not a good turn. I was getting up there to negotiate with them, and they decided they'd rather shoot me in the face. They're meanies. 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 All right. So, oh, did we do all the things that, that, that they did? This guy was a two. After attacking, if possible, move this figure two spaces towards the nearest token. So that's the, this guy. Um, and then this guy was a one. Uh, no, he was a two as well, so he didn't do anything. And this guy was a one. Yeah. Uh, after attacking, if possible, move this figure two spaces towards the nearest one. He does the same thing as that other. They're both two spaces, so. That one, I guess. Okay. <sighs> All right. <laughs> All right, so it's Ringer's turn. So Ringer needs to now start attacking. So, yeah, we need your guy as well. You got one guy. All right, so this investigation stuff isn't going to do me much good because I'm calling investigation. So I can use this as a ranged attack. The leader. I don't have that gun. Uh, leader. There's the leader one. The one that says if you defeat a leader. Oh, here it is. Oh, when attacking a leader, you get plus one. That's two. Alright, I'm going to try the, the, the lightweight guy first, just, just to get a bad roll out. I'm going to shoot... Who's the weakest? They're all the same? All three of them are the same? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to shoot... I'm going to shoot this guy over here. Now, I want to make sure he gets knocked out, because I need to get in hiding. So, I'm going to shoot him... Two... Three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to shoot him for nine. <laughs> All right. The so minus one was eight, plus one was six or seven. So I still did one more damage. He is gone, so this is the square base guy. He is gone. And then it goes back. And then I'm going to try to shoot. Mm, I don't have as much power now. I'm going to try to shoot this guy. Since you guys are there, you can beat him. I'm going to try to shoot that guy with one, two, three, four. Oh, that's not enough to beat him. Six. I'm going to get a plus two. I'm going to hang on to that. I'm going to give this to Grumple so she can smack that guy in the face. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That is what we're doing, guys. That is what we are doing. So this is a really fun game for those of you guys that have never seen this game. It's quite, quite different. Uh, this is not Monopoly. <laughs> can you stop making them aggressive? That's not as bad as me. I was the one that got it to four, which made him hostile. So. My fault we don't have new friends. So I will... Oh, I thought this... To cross... 
But no, you, you want to beat up on this guy. Oh, there's that one there. Yeah, you want to beat up on him. Beat up on him. Um, right now you what two? You only have three. He is five. Yeah, so you want you want at least six or seven. You're at three right now. Six. Or go all out. Go all eight and just guarantee it. All right. You're at eight. Hold the die. The dice. The dice. So they didn't add any. You subtracted one, but you at seven. So mm -hmm. good job, everybody. All right. So there we go. That is that. So that is this guy. That guy up one. And then now it is Messiah's turn to get out of dodge. Uh, well, yeah, one more card first. Do you want to do anything with that one? Or you want to hang on to the defense? Or do you want to give it to Messiah so she doesn't get knocked out? Just in case they come find me. Just in case I can't get over it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to get over to the hiding. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Whisper. Well, Whisper's not... We don't know which one they're going to attack, because honestly, they're going to go after the closest one, which is honestly Ringer. Although you guys are one space away, too, which means we decide where they go, and we're going to So I would say you got two, three defense, you got two defense, probably keeping it on Grumple. I'm going to use two, run away, one, two, so I'm fighting, and then I have my range attack, so that gives me three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm going to attack, well, they both have six. Uh, I'm going after the leader, because he keeps stealing our cheese. Minus one on the defense, plus three more defense done. So the leader is gone. It's the circle guy. And then when you defeat an enemy with defense of five plus, using this weapon, we get plus one scrap. And then... And then I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go ahead and use my wild to see if I can get our, our research thing here. Plus three. So two more cheese. Two food. All right, we're doing great minus this. So hopefully wherever we go next, um, <laughs> wherever we go next is safe. Hopefully, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe maybe not. Okay, so it is Zaya just went, so it's Whisper's turn. You don't find that easier, or no? Because you have to pick up the whole pile. If it's not easier anymore, it's fine. I mean, we can we can move this. We can do this. We can put the discard pile on this side. That way, it's easier. So, pull them off. All right. The whisper, and you got to beat up on that guy. So you need green to get through uh, this line. Right, that works. All right. And then do you have any melee? You got your wild. That's all you got. I mean, that's fine. So it's nice. three, four, five. They have five, and their defense is six. So they went up, they went up, you missed. Alright, so you definitely want to keep your defenses, right? And then you want to give me the ranged. Alright, so. Oh, the Miko moved on. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't really change. Okay, so he's not going to move now since you went into that space. You protected Ringer. Good. Sorry, Ringer, I didn't mean to knock you down. Um, so he's going to attack you. Do you want to defend? Yes, please, okay. So that's three, four, five, six. six. You have six, well, that should be plenty. Because he only attacks for five. I say it's plenty, but you know. 
Like you're, just, you're, they, you're not even shaking them. They're just like wobbling in your hand. And it sounds like you're shaking. So you went down. You, you, you went down to four, and he went up. So sh shake those properly. Make sure, make sure they go like this. Make sure they're moving around. Do I need to, do we need to get you a, a cup? No. A shaky cup. I am shaking okay. them. They make shaky cups. Your hands are tiny hands. What did your uncle call them? Angel hands, pequeños. So they went oh, down one, so they attacked you for four. And I got you, six. You had six, four. so you're four. So it. it se acabó, nothing happens. Nada. Okay. So it is Ringer's turn. Couple. All right. So Ringer, I really just need to shoot that guy in the face. One, two, three, four. All right. So I have. Oh, that's not. All right. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at six. Minus two for him. Plus three more for me. Adios. Hasta la bye bye. All right. So he is gone. Oh, his threat was gone last time anyway. But that's fine. Um, so that's cool. That's good. Um, so I'm going to use my two. I'm down here. And I'm going to use my research. Oops, I've got to shuffle those back into the matter. Oh, no, that's what I just did. Uh, so three, four, five. Plus one. So did that. So plus two more food. Plus two food. Right? So... Guess that's it. We just need to exit now. We can go to the next, the next page. Yeah, Grumble's turn. You just need, you just need green or enough to get all the way around, because it's now safe. Well, um, before we did that, did you want to use your? Did you? Um, well, no. Um, yeah, so I want to nest on my turn, so time goes up by one. Then you can use the Alchi Band-Aids. Get rid of all my damage. Um, into the discard part. I would just discard. That's fine, we'll just put them to the bottom. I'll do that back. Um, so yeah, so we gotta do the calamity. So you have to roll. Are we at three? Oh, we're already at three time. Doesn't doesn't matter. We're already at three time. A dark shadow glides over you, as does a tiny pinpoint of red. Dust feathers, laser eyes, searches for a victim. Environment, dust feathers. Alright. Alright, dust feather. We have the dust feather environment. Alright. So place a dust feather. Dust feather token on a, I guess, person. Oh, I'm hiding. You guys are hiding, so it's that's your only person. So dust feather, go there, go there. Oh, it's got that red pinpoint. Like yeah, because it's supposed to be like it's flying. You can see its eye. You can actually. There's a piece in another game they say that you can use um, that's made by Hat Hat Games. Uh, after taking a turn with a character, if it is not on a hiding space. Reveal and discard the top card from the action deck. Move Dust Feather that many spaces towards that character. Um, that means zero. Crossing any type of line. When Dust Feather enters that character's space, he, uh, he targets that character with a range attack five. Dust Feather has a defense of six and one life. You can only be attacked using a weapon with range plus two, so only only I can attack them. Um. So, oh no, you just had to play. You had to place them on this symbol. Does this make the? I guess this makes the environment hostile again.
Okay. Yeah, so I guess that makes the environment hostile again. Dust feather. Dust feather is. Alright, so I don't think you have to kill Dust Feather. I think we can still just exit, but I don't I don't know if Dust Feather's one that um that carries over. So you can't attack it because you have no range. So the only thing you can really do is um exit. Yeah, that's what you're gonna have to do is exit. Where's your cards? Oh. How much do you have? Do you have yeah, you have one, right? So you can just exit. No, but I need that range. Do you have three? Yeah. You exit. Do Zaya. And then you're just gonna have to hold on to that. Well no, you can't give it to this one. Okay. Now it is Mazaya's turn. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. That's fine. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. I can attack for six. And then it has a defense of. Defense of six. Alright, so I'm attacking for six. It has a defense of six and one life. Alright, that's good. Went down one, plus three, so there we go. That's another gone. It had a defense of more than five, so we get one more scrap. And that's the end of, end of my turn. So, uh, Whisper, you gotta draw cards, uh, even if you're just gonna exit. Seems silly to me. One, two, three, five. So we exit. And then you you're already on the exit. Well no, you don't need to spin exit. You just, you just exit. Um so I need he needs to get over here. Both of them need to get over here, so whatever the biggest number is. Just any <laughs> just any of them. Two, three, four. All right. Uh, so I need. Oh, that's through. I can exit. Three to Messiah. I end walls four. Wars. The time increases by one. Discard all those. That. Discard these two. Do I exit? Nothing on the board. All right. So now we want to go to the next space. We're going, we're going to central. Central place. So we got to go to page forty-three. So this is this is in joke, so we don't be here, right? Forty-three, so we're at in joke again. Alright, plus one, two time again. What's the time we get on this one? Um three. Wow. Ow! How are you supposed to make it all the way to central place in three time? Like we didn't even get to Injo last time until <laughs> Like, the only way I could see is you just basically go all the way to the exit. Like, because those guys were friendly. Just go to the exit and leave them there. And be like, okay, adios. And not try to communicate with them. Well, we couldn't even do that, because by the time I even got up there, we had all of our threat. Wow, okay. Uh, so place the characters at the starch. All right. Uh, place our finding tokens. And then we already viewed all the things, so we don't have to do that. So we can either go up here, which means then we got to go through the machine. The better option is just to go up here. 
which is a standard exit, because then we can go to 41. So, draw an encounter card. Nomads! Hey, that's what we want. 21 nomads. Day alert, Messiah warns. This lot has a feral look in their eye. Alright, so we need the number of nomads again. Three, three, four. Just kind of shuffle them a little bit and just pull them on the track. All right. So once upon drawing uh, encounter card 21, you may spend one cheese per enemy in that encounter. If you do so, remove all enemies from play and this mission is considered a success. So do we want to spend four food? When we spend four food, they're gone. They're not going to become hostile. This mission is a success. We get four more people, right? Or do we want to try to communicate with them first? If we communicate with them and they become hostile, then we have to actually attack them. But we don't get the, the loot. Oh, we defeated those other guys, right? So we got we can... Oh, there was no, and we, we rested earlier, so we can get this. Uh, shiny objects discard automatically succeed at a communication skill test or remove dust better. Ooh, that would actually we can at least get one of these guys to join our population because we have this. Okay. Uh, which would be better for you because you can't communicate. My guys can keep. So. Maybe we'll do that here because then that's you have to do a skill test so you have to have the communications you're good so you'll just you'll use those the so messiah went last right yeah because he, he had to leave the board so it's, it's whispers i'm thinking right now we won't pay the cheese let's see if we can convert them first um so oh we had a bunch of cards all right so you have a you have a so you have, um, right, right now, I don't think we want to spend the cheese. Let's see if we can communicate with them. You can't, because Whisper's just not a communicator. She's quiet. She's a quiet little mouse. Um, so I would say maybe go towards some of these things. Try to, but you need uh, green to get through. You have to use your wild. Through. Which way you want to go? Towards the boxes. Towards the boxes. Box. box. Right. We always said we were going, we're going to... Well, we're going to exit here. It doesn't matter. This is... Oh, you can't go through that. It's a solid line. You have to go up. Oh, uh, that is just one. One solid? Okay. There is only one solid white line. You can't go through a solid white line at all. It's a it's a line of sight. Oh, no. Solid white line, you could use... It's line of sight. Um... Yay for rules! <laughs> um, move. One movement. Solid white lines can be seen through, but not crossed. Double solid lines cannot be seen through or crossed. I mean, they cannot be crossed. Yes, you can't cross them. Double lines are blocks. So like when we were inside of the Injo machine. Remember, they were double, meaning they couldn't shoot through to us on the conveyor belt. All right. So that's all you can do. Do you want to get rid of some of those cards so you can try to draw some more? Do you have a, a defense? Can I do that? Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe give the defense to Grumple. Just you can only get one card, but she's at three now, so you can't give her any more after that. That gets her at least three. Defense for me is no use because I'm range. Which is what I kind of forgot with Messiah. I was trying to go up to talk, and then they came and they smacked me in the face. Okay, so I think that's it. That's all Whisper can do, right? Yeah, okay. Um, so it is the bad guy's turn, or the, the nomads. The nomads can't do anything. So I guess you get you only get this loot if you set up. 
I guess the loot is only cursed if you can you convert them all or kill them all. Okay. So it is Ringer's turn. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. The card. So we use three. I think it's Ringer over here. Don't shoot that! Don't point that thing at me. Dangerous. All right, and then I'm going to communicate three, four, five. So I have five communication, uh, and oh, they're all five. So I'm I'm just going to do the the little guy at the bottom. I've got five. Plus one, made it six. So the guy on the bottom joins us in our adventures. He leaves the board, card goes aboard, and we get one more population. Successful negotiations. All right, and then I have an attack card, which doesn't do me any good, so I will give that to Whisper in case things go south in a hurry. Oh, no, no, I gave her more cards, and oh, you're already at three, so I can't give that to you. I can only have... Um, no, yeah, okay, I'm going to use that one, and I'm going to come up here. Yeah. All right, so it is Grumple's turn. So Grumple needs to move two, right, so she can get over here, and then she can do her negotiation with the shiny object. Okay, so you need two to get over there. No, I wouldn't use that. I would give that to um, Zaya. The end of your turn. So yeah. One, two. And then you need to do the negotiate action, which is the one, and your shiny object. Okay. And this. So uh who are you negotiate with? I would say I would say the leader since he's the hardest. Okay. So the leader has been negotiated with. And if we negotiated with the leader, you'd think, oh, all of them come and join us. Yeah. No. All right, so get all rid of him and his threat, which is good, too, because he had the threat. Which really didn't do anything. It would just move. Um, and then that's the end of your turn, unless you want to move on somewhere. Over here. Uh, oh, with the... One. Yeah, with the three. Well, no. Or this one. Well, you can go this, you can go this one. I think we're playing the wilds wrong. I think the wilds only count as the number. We've been using them to get wild. Um, and then I will take the communication card. All right. So, take a ball. That's one, two, three, four. I got two, actually I got two twos, so that's good. But I can combine that with that one. Then I got the wild as well, which I really can use as three instead of two. The one negotiation is guaranteed to go up. That's one. The second one. But actually, we could just pay cheese for that last time. I think that's what we do. Just pay cheese for that one. One attack. All right. So we're going to do maximum effort here. Two, four, six. And I get one more, so seven. Minus one is still six. So I communicated with the octagon guy. He has joined our, our, our population, so plus one more to our population. And then we're going to feed this guy some cheese, so minus one cheese, to make him join our population. So plus one more to our pop. And we have succeeded in this, so we get two scrap for defeating the nomads or having them join us. Um, and this mission was a success, so we get plus four more to our population. Our population? Yep. 
We gotta be careful. We can't go above 15. All right. So that. Very response. So that. Oh, did I pay my movement cost? No. Whoopsie. Uh, and then I can pay the one red to get the. Alright. So, no mas. Okay, so it's on your turn. And yeah, we need blackout curtains behind you. <laughs> I mean, it just washes me out. I, I don't know if, like, maybe if we were to wear different colors, would make it different, like red and green, you know. I'd say no because the plants could be it's not Oh, that. so these ones were just... No, 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 we, we, we... Oh, see, see. We, we, everybody joined our team. Okay. Well, stop doing that. <laughs> just... Grumple. Gr uh, you did Messiah. I did Messiah. No, so it's, it's Whisper. But were, were those the first two cards you drew or the last two cards? First two. When you drew it was like this, one, two, three, yeah. four, five. Just means that I'm gonna grab on the mic. There. <laughs> Alright, so you're over here, you want to do an investigation, but you have you have the three, okay. And you don't have a three to add to that, so that's all you got is three. Alright. So I'm guessing you're gonna go after the two. Mm -hmm. Fine. Zero, which is still enough to succeed. And now we kind of want to do the two more food. Oh, we're all over here. None of us are over here. Um, so for me to go over here and do this three, because I don't think you should attempt the three. For me to do three, I need... Three and I need a green. What do I see? Um, you can just go ahead and start heading towards the exit. I mean, you're gonna. Well, you need to actually. You needed the green to get through. You need one, one, two, three with the green. Two, three with the green. All right, so are you gonna you gonna you just gonna go ahead and take the exit, or you want to hang out just in case we get some more bad guys show up? No, wait. Okay. Um. So it is Ringer's turn. Two, three, five. Oi. Mm. <laughs> All right. So Ringer, I can't. And since I can't actually investigate, that actually worked out well. I can because I have a two. But now I'm going to do three. One. That's all I can do. All right. But it's Grumple's turn. She's here. I'm going to investigate this. So if you just want to, whatever's going to be the best way to get up there. Oh. There's four. And yeah, you can put the five. Alright, so surge plus one. Or plus one to time. And we move the cards. But well, there's no bad guys, so we're, we're safe. Luckily, we, we, we rescued, we got all of them to join our team before that happened. Alright. Oh. So, two. Well, no, you'd want to use that to get into the green. The wild card to get into. We've been, caught, we've been using that, that. We're just going to keep doing that. We're going to keep saying that this allows you to get through them. <laughs> through them as well. All right. You're hanging out there. So now it is... Ringer's turn. Now, if you get yellows, now you guys can try those. Uh, no, not Ringer. It's Messiah's turn. Right. All right. So I have... One...
All right, so one, two, so I have two. Plus one is three. So plus two, trap. And then I'm going to move with that. That to get in here. That to try to do another scavenge. Plus one. This we get two more scrap. All right, we're doing we're doing good. All right. Oh no 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 no! You're right. You're right. Whisper, whisper. You're right. I'm wrong. <laughs> you whispered the whisper. All right. Um. So do you have any yellow? No. And I would just say have her exit, and then give give that to. Grumple, because Grumple can do, give a two to Grumple, because Grumple can do investigation next turn. So, no, you don't need to pay to exit. You just exit. You just say I'm going to exit. Thank you. I'd give a two so she can combine it with that next turn. All right. So no bad guys. So bring her. Calamity, if we're at six plus on the time, which we are, encounter the hunt. Uh, situation the enemies are play are hostile. Yeah, we don't have anything for the hunt, so again, this doesn't affect us. Because we killed everybody on the last map. <laughs> Alright, so I need to go through that. Can't. Wow, I'm stuck. I'm gonna give this to I'm gonna give this to Grumple to make it so she has a better chance of better chance of being able to do her investigation. Alright. So it's on Grumple. So you can draw two cards. Alright. So uh, I mean, it, it only needs two, so I would do the wild for investigation. The chance of you not getting it is, is slim, um, but you want to be higher than the highest negative you can get is a negative three, right? Negative three, zero, one. No, negative two. So you honestly just need to be at least four, because then if you get a negative two, you still you still do it. So do at least yeah, do the wild plus one. More. Whichever one you don't want on the next turn. You can't use range, so I'd probably say get rid of No, the ranged. Oh, get rid of your melee. You're the attacker. <laughs> yeah, get rid of the range. All right. Bye. Like I said, you, you got it no matter what. I'm going to technically do it. Minus two, so you're at two. Uh, two more cheese. More food. And then, are you going to exit? All right. Exit. So it is Messiah's turn. Three. All right. I'm pro. I mean, I'm, there's so I get something that helps Ringer get through the. Oh, I didn't think about that. You could have given me the green card. Well, no, I was at three. Never mind. Card down. Five. Right card. All right. Well, yeah. Um, just hang on to that. I'm gonna exit. And then so now it is uh, no bad guys coming back to me. Up time. It's, all right. This one's good. Um. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. I mean, I know it's a three, but I'm not going to do it. Just because I, I don't want that to blow up. And, uh, well, blowing up in this one doesn't matter. It, it, well, it increases the time. Well, no, this didn't even increase our time like a moment. Or we can get a surge, which we're just going to use the three, go through there. I exit. Oh, exited. 
Uh, I exit and I'm going to give this to oh, I'm going to do that. To my... Alright, so we exit, we lose that three. Um, since we exited, uh, you can only try to decide if this situation is safe, which it was. Uh, when leaving by this exit, move your party to an adjacent location. So we're going to go to Central Place, which is number 41. 41. Ah, it says Central Place, but it's called Mean Street. All right. We have a story to read. Oh, that's right. We can read it. All right. Plus one, if this is the first time on your page during this campaign, read the following. Plus one at a time. All right. A red metal box bears the language of mankind in worn white lettering. Universal Postage, Postal Service. A stylized graphic of a hunting bird's face stares at you with indifferent eyes. Hey, maybe we should start marking our surroundings, Mazaya suggests. I always do, admits Ringer. Just had a little tinkle right over there. <laughs> uh, I did not... I did... I did it on the way here, says Rumpel. No, I mean a guide for our friends and a warning to our enemies. Like this, Ringer takes a sliver of chalk and scribbles a quick mouse face on the faded paint of the mailbox. Underneath it says, hoodies, with an arrow pointing back toward home. The face... But, uh, well, the face looks like Messiah, observes Whisper. Nah, it doesn't look that bad, grins Ringer. All right, so place our guys on the entry parts. We're, we're, we're here on the mailbox. Now, the nice thing here is it is cover. They can't see us mm -hmm. behind that, uh, but they could, of course, see us if we can't come out here. Which, why would you stand out here? Um, place our investigation tokens. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's a hidden area. These are both reading things. Okay. Uh, if you're on mission five, which we are not, on mission five, go to E2. If you're on mission 14, go to E3. We're on mission 8A. All right. If you're on any other mission, encounter. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, so that is Gecko Warband. Ooh, Gecko Warband. Uh, the Scalded Ones respect nature. Patch had told you, but they are haughty and hard to read. Number of random Sacred Ones are based on the number of characters. So it's always going to be the four. So uh, we want our Geckos. They go on the mouse face. Shuffle those four guys up and put them on our thing. Let's go to All right. So if we beat this, we get um, two loot or two scrap. All right. Here we go. Ready? All right. So who went last? Um, Ringer, right? Because I had to escape. All right. So it is Rumpel's turn. Brett under the Gecko Hunter. Although he's shooting his friend. Stop shooting your friend. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Alright, so you are... Yeah. Alright, so we need to take them out. And we need to get... Here's the exit. So, the success, scout a house in the area of Central Place. How do we... Is somewhat, somehow we have to get to the. We gotta figure out how to get to the house. Yeah, because it said go to page 41. That's where we are. Right, we gotta figure out how to get to the house. 
Maybe, maybe the manhole cup. Mm. Hmm. I don't know, that, that seems like it was telling us to go somewhere that isn't right. Uses eggs if the situation is safe. When leaving by this exit, move your party to an adjacent space on the travel map, which we did. We went to D1. D1 is page 41. But nowhere on here does it talk about the house. Remember you said the mean, mean street? And yeah, none of these say mean street. We're on the street before the house. I mean, that's that's where we are. But, like, even this didn't talk about if you're doing this mission. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll, we'll just we'll play it. I mean, that's that's where we are. We're either going to fail it or succeed. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to do, I mean, you know, it's me. I'm going to do these. But, I mean, you kind of just have to start heading your way towards the geckos. Start beating up on them. Well, well, maybe... you, can, you can go. You can go around this way. There too. Or you want to hang on to your tack, but yeah, you can do your wild to go one, two, and you could do you could do two more. Get up there to them. I would remember if you save your wild with that, then you can add that to your attack. Two. Now you can attack. What you, what's, your, what's your total attack now? I. Well. How would you? Well, if you did, if you well, you have two, three, four, five. Uh, you need at least six to take any of, or you need seven. That would be six. six. And you just add that to seven. it. Eight. Alright, so eight. We haven't taken, I mean, we're all healed up, so it's not like if you take damage, it's the end of the world. Well, I mean, this is the end of the world, it's aftermath. <laughs> it's the end of the world, as oh. we know it. So right. plus minus, that, that zeroes out, but you did eight, so that was enough to knock out. Well, you do plus one to the leader anyway, so you would have knocked him out anyways. So he's gone. Adios, leader. All right, so the leader is gone. Um, it is the circle. It's the little one. The leader is gone. Good job, everybody. All right, so, uh, so that was Grumple. Yeah. So it is Messiah's turn. Look how Messiah's got freaking range like a yin yang. <laughs> All right, so we'll go one to get out, and then two, four, two, three, six, seven. Minus two takes me down to five, plus one makes it. So that is a fleet miss. Wow. All right, so I'm going to do seven again. To that guy in the lead, because I don't want him moving. Plus one, zero, so that puts them at seven. Yeah, seven. Right? Four, five, seven, so that's a wash. All right, so I completely missed. <laughs> Whisper, let's see if you can do better. Because I, I, I can't do it. Hey, you want to get, you want to start handing those uh, green cards over to Mazaya? If, if you, well, I mean, you can use them to move through this stuff, so that's not too bad. You go one, and you need green to get through here. 
to go there. I only need one green to go through there, or if, I mean, if you got a two green, you got a three green. Have... Well, All right, give you one. Yeah, yeah, you can give me one. One, two. So we'll read these in order, right? So number one. Um, that's Grumple talking, so you can read it. Well, this this manhole cover is one of the few things left intact on this particular stretch of street. If you could move some of this rubble, you might be able to slip below. Hatch forbids entering the gutter room, Grumple says solemnly. You are mission 13 or 14 and have mission card 5 in your banished deck box. Go to 41 dash for which we have. Uh, yeah, we're, we're on mission 8A. I don't think we have those missions. Oh, we're in Okay. Um, so that did us no good. And then you go to number two. Uh, if your party is at A2 on the travel map. Ah, oh, because 41's in two... Ah, 41's in two different spots. Oh, no. If your party is at D1 on the travel map. A promising two-story house sits close by. There's our house. Uh, but lounging on the front porch is a mangy, feral-looking dog. There's no getting in that way. If you are on mission 8A, upon exiting this page, go to the success entry listed on your main mission card. If you're on mission 13, okay, so we basically just have to exit. Which, if we exit, then uh, the war, does, does the war band still hunt us? I, I don't remember, see that was the one thing I wasn't sure, is do they hunt us between missions? Oh, that was on the page turn section one. Uh, okay. new figures. Situations also place those figures and their cards in a hunt box, removing any wounds from them. So that was that part. And then problem is not going to go all the way back here to the on, the on the cleanup stage. Say, do they follow us? Saves them. In the campaign dashboard, discard each player puts da, 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 place all items or equip. Uh, make sure the vehicle calling structures in line. Da, da. A, yeah, so they don't follow us. So we don't have to stay here. We can just exit and succeed. Um, so now it's your choice if you want to go in there and beat up on them so we can get more scrap, um, and then gives us more time to investigate. I, I say we want to investigate because right now our population is more than our food. Which means that we'll lose, I mean, our morale is kind of high, but we'll lose some morale. Time's at seven, though. That's kind of a lot of bad stuff, because three was our bad stuff counter. So it's, it's your choice. Um, I'll let you decide, since it's not the end of your turn, if you want to go in there and attack them, or whether we just want to exit. The one guy's going to move. Because I, I didn't kill him. So he, he's going to attack you on the, on the map at the end of your turn. So you actually need to make sure you keep something so you can defend. So I keep... Well, you can give that to Grumple. She can attack. That's fine if you don't give me something to attack. You can give that to Grumple. Yeah. And then keep those for your defense. All right? All right. So that guy is going to move. That is the... Well, no, he's not going to move. He's, he's oh. um, so he is two, right? So he does a melee damage of five. So actually, the wrong person has the. Put that, take that back. Give that to Grumble. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the shield, <laughs> the shield, tore for board. <laughs> there you go. I did. I forgot Grumble was here because I. For whatever reason, I thought she was she was camouflaged so well with the geckos <laughs> that I, I didn't know she was there. All right, so he's going to attack. So you want to defend, right? Defend. Okay. You have to defend. They're attacking. He's this this guy here is attacking Grumble. Oh, sorry. 
So that's one, two, you're at three, right? Because you didn't activate your You're at three. Okay. And he hits for five. So <laughs> plus three to them, so he hit for eight. So that is a one. All right. Let's see him, All right. So move his threat. And then I draw two. <laughs> I draw two. I got plenty of investigation. We'll go two. Investigate for that's a three. I'll investigate for three, four, five. Minus two took me down to three, which is still a success. We got we got two batteries, which is good. That's the person that needs the batteries. Because I'm going to lose this battery at, at the next turn, or when we go back to the camp. The home, sweet home. All right, so it is Grumple's turn. And Grumple is grumpy because she was attacked. Take it out on him. All right, you got, well, you've got three attack, I guess. Yeah. So you can do a three attack. Uh, well, it's three, four, five, six. You can do six attack. They all have six defense, so it really doesn't matter which one you well, because you can add all your ones together. So, six, get six. One, three, four, five, six. Six, yeah. All right. No whammies, only good dice. Yes, this is really bad. <laughs> Minus one, that's good. Plus three. Right, and I guess, what are you doing, just the one in the front? These guys up. All right. So good job, Grumple. We knew you could do it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? You got. A, you, you got enough. It's a three. It'll be hard, but you can try. That gives you four. So, but you got a plus two. Good to go. Which one did you want? Do that. I one. Did you want to stand by that? Oh, you found us a weapon. A broken. Ooh, got a helmet. Got a helmet for somebody. Uh, once per mission, break this item to automatically defend. Oh, so it's an auto defense. Yeah, see, I think for the army, we want to put the armor on your characters first because we're sending you out front, right? So that's good. All right, a good turn. So it is Messiah's turn, right? Oish. All right, Messiah, what are you doing? Can't do that. I'm going to use the three to get over the stupid block. I'm going to use this as an attack, and I'll add one attack. So one, two, three, four, five. So five, five attack. And attack the ranged guy. Zero, zero, five, six. Nada happens. Not a thing. <laughs> not a, not a thing. <laughs> I made it funny. <laughs> All right, so it is Whisper's turn. All right, Whisper, get in there. Show him who's boss. Uh, crisis. So if. Calamity, yeah. If we are at four plus, party is on A2 on the travel, no. Uh, if your party is on D1, yes. Um, a sniper fires at you from the second story window of a nearby house. This character receives one automatic wound. Um, I'll, I'll take it. 
because he's hiding, so he couldn't take the wounded. That's not fun. Let's not do that again. <laughs> no. 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 Can I snipe back at him? Now I know. Now I saw the glint of his gun, so I can. Oh, he's up in there. I'm gonna shoot up in that. But that's how you. That's how it really works. Oh, no mas. No. And oh, was that? Did you draw? A three. Oh, you did. Okay. And so you are here. So you need to get in there and beat up on those guys. Do you have an attack? No, that's oh, that is her attack. Yeah, so you can't attack. You have more twos. Okay, you got more twos. All right, so you could use the one to get in there. And then you got your defense when they if they attack, when they attack back. One to get in there. Sneak up behind him. Unless you don't want to attack him, you want this one. No. Get the sniper. Get him because he's the one that he's the one that shot at me. Get him. He's the meanie that, that just sniped me. All right. So, so then you can attack for how much? Okay. No, you can't. That's, that's, your, that's your defense. So two. six. Okay. What does your weapon do extra? The green, the green lines are considered dot. For you, Petra, you can move anywhere you want. We keep forgetting that. Like I don't know how many times we've overpaid them. All right, it's no big deal. No big deal. Okay, so six. All right, you got this. You got this. Get revenge for them pot shotting me. Plus one of them, zero for you. So that put them at seven. And you're at six. All right. Well, thanks for the effort, Whisper. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Um, so that means it is the bad guy's turn. So um, they go after whoever has is the weakest. So they're all going to go after Grumple. Um, Grumple has no way to defend. You have no I way. Wish I could... Oh, well, yeah, you could have. I forgot. Yeah, because they're going to go after the weakest. So we know that. All right. So you're going to have to take one of the hits. This one is going to hit you for four. This one can hit you for five. You really, you want to you want to block this guy here. Uh, a defense. Okay, so this one, a defense action card must be used to initiate it. So he just has a special thing where you have to use a defense action to initiate. You can use any card to initiate defense. But like my guys have no defense, so it makes no sense to use anything other than the defense card. You could use any card you wanted that you had in your hand, and then you because you get you know three defense by default. So uh, I would say this guy um, is who you'd want to not take a take a hit from. Was, oh no, this guy here because he's he's going to hit you for. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. You want to use the defense on this guy because it's lower, so you have a higher chance of actually blocking him. Okay. See? That makes more sense, right? Okay, so that first guy is going to attack you. You take one wound. You should have to take that wound. His threat. And then the other guy attacks you, and you're going to defend, right? So you have... Three, four, five. Unless you want to power it up. You can power it up with a battery. It's it's the end of the mission. I, I I would I would say if you get to three hearts, definitely. But it's the end of the mission, I and mean, you can just exit before you die. It was like at the very beginning, maybe, or maybe later when we have harder missions. Four. Three, four, five. You still get the one, the five, okay. So you're at five, he's going to hit for four. So right now you're better than him. You're better than him. Right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he got minus two, which means he hit for even less. So you're good to go. All right. That's good. So back to don't give me. I don't want to put that on him. So <laughs> Ringer, uh, Ringer's gonna finally come out of the shadows, maybe. Ringer, buddy, Ringer. Why? Why? All right. 
Um, all right, he's got this good, this good card. I think what I'm going to do is use this. Go one, two. This to cross over into here. Use this. Three, four, five. Three. It says three more food. Tres mas comida. All right. So Grumpy. All right, Grumpy. Come on, get some attacking. Take him out. Gotta take at least one of them out. It doesn't hit you again. Calamity. Takes a pot shot at one of us. Ringer will take the shot. This. Oh, that's. That's what that was, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Never mind. Hang on, hang on. Who had the calamity last time? Was it you? Was it Whisper? You put, you put I know, no, 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 but who actually pulled the card? I think it was you. Was it Whisper? I mean, it was me, yes. Yeah, but... so Whisper, it oh, attacks it's you because yeah. you did the Calamity card. But yeah, now Grumple probably needs to kill somebody and then get out of Dodge. Didn't she kill somebody? Mm. Uh, she's got a three. Four. Yeah. Five, six. Seven. Yeah. Oh, and you also, of course, have the throw. You can, like, call somebody. And that makes it harder for the rest of us to try to kill it. <laughs> now they got plus two, so I put them up to eight. And you were at seven. Right? Three, four, five, yeah. And they're not a leader, so you don't get the plus one. Even if you did, it would have been... Zero. So. All right, you gonna you gonna run away? So you gotta use one. We exit. Right. Um. Yeah, when you're when you're coming. All right, come on, Mazaya. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there we go. Two, four. Two, four. All right. I vote. So that's four, five, six, seven. I have seven. And this is actually a good idea. We get more scraps with Mazaya doing this. Push. First one blocked. That was a wash. Seven. They have six. So the sniper is gone. He's the one that does more damage, right? Hi. How much is he going to do? Two. Yeah, he's gonna do five. Let's see. That one does plus six. Yeah. Oh, then the gecko hunter. Where's that? I'm gonna do it. Just go away. I think technically in most games, I mean, it's a cooperative game, and that's that's the thing, you know, is hey, Randy, how you doing, everybody? I think that's the thing, you know, it's a cooperative game. And therefore, it's me and you working together to be a fan, so it's not like we're cheating. I mean, we probably are to some degree, but <laughs> it's our it's rules. Together. These are our rules, and it's together, right? Um, I don't think we're making the game any easier with the weird rules that we're probably not following. So, yeah. There we go. So, I have one defense. So, I will give the one defense to Whisper, just in case you don't kill him on this turn. Your turn. Just in case, there's a chance. Four. Yes. Cuatro. All right. So how much? How much damage can you do to this guy? Same numbers Six. or same colors? Yeah. See. Well, three, seven. four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I don't know, we've been playing wilds is completely wild. We've not been playing wilds correctly at all. But it's 
it it's supposed to be the same as the color you start with or the same with the number you start with so like if you started with this you went three four but that matches that and i we've been playing it this way we're gonna keep playing wilds are wild you can use a wild for whatever you want to use a wild for <laughs> so seven so seven because i don't think wilds are supposed to change colors like we've been doing Wilds, I think, are just supposed to be in action. But these actions are colored. So. Right, that's what I mean. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm using wilds as wilds. They're called the wilds. So, minus two on them, minus I one on you. Seven. You're at seven, so I put you at six, but that minus two, so he is gone. Siakobo. Did I? I knocked out a guy, right? Oh. I knocked, a guy, I knocked that one guy out, See? right? Yeah. So, we get uh, a, a scrap. All right, Hamas. All right, so do you have one to get to the exit? Yeah, just one to get to the exit. Uh, do the private shield, because I'm going to do an investigation. Exit. I am on ringer. Or no bad guys. Three. One, two, three, four. Minus one, doesn't matter. So I've got two on him if I do three more food. Your people have escaped us. You have left the, the ranged people all by themselves. Two, five. So. Got a clue? Two clues. Um, that, so I take. Okay. turn, one, two, three, four. I couldn't have one card in my hand, and I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't have to do this. Um, I'm going to take a rest action. So we can repair that shampoo cap. So we take a rest action, so time goes up by one. And then it's going to cost us two scrap to uh, do that. So that's repaired, so you can give that to the three, three, two. Probably better to give it to. How do I know that I already used? I well, you didn't use, yeah, well, you didn't put it on it, so you're, you still have your battery. Yeah. Oh, all right. Correct. Really doesn't matter what I play, because out and I... There we go. So that is a mission success. We did kill everybody. So did you give us our two loot? We're killing everybody. Um, and then mission success. Read entry 9911. 9911. I'm gonna think since there's the big dog, we're gonna have to find some way to get that dog out of our way. Banish this mission card. Oop, you don't get Goes into the banish box. Okay. All right, if all three uh, house hunting mission cards are now in your box, uh, read the following. Otherwise, skip to page 101. Okay, so we can't do this yet. Right. So once we find, well, we have to scout all three houses. Okay, so that makes sense. So you got to scout all three houses to figure out if we can get one of those houses. Our population is getting kind of high. All right, side mission. Uh, if you says we completed the side mission, resolve its success effect. Otherwise, uh, we did that earlier. Right, we should have done that yet. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, it, it didn't impact our gameplay. Clue step. If you added one clue to your mission, read the entry that matches your clue dial number on page 102. So we have another clue. Sorry, two. Rumble's face is a, pure, uh, is a fury mask of sorrow. Is a furry. 
fury. <laughs> as a great mask of sorrow, as she shows Patch the tattered, blood-stained cloth, Patch's eyes tremble. This was Tuffet's scarf, he gasps, struggling to hold back tears. We found it tied fast to a twig, says Ringer sadly, but Patch perks up at this. Uh, was it a badger fist knot? The old mouse asks excitedly. Ringer nods. It's a sign. They're still alive. Patch's revelation fills you with joy and determination. Uh, the players may look through the abilities deck and choose an additional ability for each character, whether or not they were in play. Retrieve the tattered scarf from the item deck box and add it to the colony supply box. So, um, tattered scarf from the item deck box. The, the item deck. Um, oh, here, item deck. All right. You want the tattered scarf. Alright, and then we get to pick new uh, skills. What does it what does it do? So here we go. So tattered scarf, so it is an accessory, uh, provider item. Increase your hand limit to six while this item is equipped. Upon first acquiring this item, plus one. Clue. Oh. Okay, so we get we just acquired it, so plus one clue. Alright, so um which one of us do you think needs to have six cards? We don't know. This just allows you to have six cards instead of five. I can't. I can't say. I can't say either one of us having one more card would have been no. more beneficial. Uh, Mosiah doesn't have anything. We'll give it. We'll give it to Mosiah. All right. So you get to pick one more move for each one of your guys. So these are Grumples, and then these are Whispers. So Grumple, you have pain management, remove one wound or toxic wound, so you can actually heal yourself, that's kind of cool. Forge, discard all uh, investigation tokens. Now for each token you get cheese, so it's a guaranteed cheese for one. Um, squeak assist. Uh, use before a character sharing your space rolls any resolution for attack. Reduce the difficulty by three. So you actually can help out somebody who's in the same space. So again, Whisper would most likely be in the same space. Uh, this one, add five to any group task. This character must meet all other requirements of that group task. That's tough. And this is the class? Yeah, same as like this one, your throw is two. So we're basically upgrading our characters now. We're making them stronger. Mm -hmm. So you figure out which one of those you want, but we'll go to these ones. Um, spring, choose a space up to two spaces away, uh, in line of sight, place your figure on that chosen space. You gain a bonus of plus two attack until the end of this turn. You cannot spring if you're a trap. So basically this allows you to jump and spring into a location and it increases your attack by two. So like if you were on that last map, you could have jumped in, got another additional two. Calm. Move a non-leader meekling sharing your space uh, from play. Plus one. Oh, so you basically calm somebody down. They join our our team. I just a meekling. Yeah, meekling. So the, yeah, the meekling, non-leader. So only the, whenever we do a um, uh, communication, it's always these guys. You always do the meeklings. Okay. They're they're the, they're the roamers. Um, so instead of communicating, this is basically how you can communicate by doing this. But then. Are we staying on, I mean, we are close to the... The limit, yeah, yeah. We may not need that right now. Uh, maybe if our population starts getting low, then that would be... Uh, detox, uh, remove any toxic wound, which we haven't even gotten a toxic wound yet, so I don't see that being that helpful. Uh, aid, remove all negative status cards from a character in your space, so you can heal any negative status. But right now, we haven't run into these. This might be the best one as your spring. All right, and then we'll have to figure what you want there. So for 
Messiah, I have crack shot. Inflict one wound on an enemy within your line of sight. I become marked. Um, lucky. Use after rolling resolution dice for a skill test. Reroll the white die and keep the new result. Okay. Snipe. Uh, use before rolling the resolution die. When performing an attack with a ranged weapon, reduce the difficulty test by four. Wow, that's nice. Uh, spot weakness. Place a marked token on an enemy figure in your line of sight. Reduce the difficulty for one. I like Snipe. You're still trying to figure out which one of those you want. Here what it says, like, all the characters to must meet the requirements. For That's, the there may be skill tests, skill tasks that require something, like a certain amount of strength, or maybe a certain defense, or they, they might change the skill mm. task. So that just means that to do that, you would need to also meet that skill task. I think your pain, I think the healing is good. Because, I mean, if we're throwing... This is if you're on my part. Okay. Yeah. But, I mean, if we're putting you out in the lead all the time, mm. that's probably the most important. All right. The ringer, I can get drive. The drive, if you're the driver, which we're not, so I know I don't need that. <laughs> Barrel stair. So this allows you to do diagonal. Ah! The ringer, we can go diagonal, which makes it quicker to get to these other spots. Once we get a vehicle, we're not Barrel stair will use this ability during your turn when the situation is hostile. Discard the bottom threat card from the threat track. Okay, so it removes one threat card. That's not bad. Quick fix. Fix a broken item if you are not nesting. Reduce the repair cost by one. So we can actually get items quicker. Doesn't require a nesting action. Aim. When performing a range attack, reduce the difficulty of the skill test for the attack by three. Ooh. I like that one. All right, I think I'm going to do aim. I think aim's... I like that, though. I mean, I really like... All of his are good. This is good. I like all of his were good. I liked all of his. Okay. We put these back. Alright, so we did that. Alright, and it says because we acquired the the tattered scarf, we got plus one clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we gotta read it now. Because we just we got that. So three. Where did you find... Oh, that's the girl, but that's fine. I'll read it. Where did you find these, Tidbit asks, looking at a seed spread out in the matchbox table. We had a run-in with the Flea Whisperer recently, Whisperer replies. He told us all about his lavish garden infested with scared ones. Or I found these in the pocket of one of those geckos that tried to jump our claim, which is good because we were fighting geckos. Uh, I'd like to see that, insists Grumple. Not just for me. If we could get the garden growing in the backyard, our food stores should swell. Yes, but it would take a lot of water, Tidbit reminds her. There is much to consider. Retrieve Mission 10 from the Discovery Deck. And put it at the bottom of the Mission Deck. Mission 10? Mm -hmm. Oh, White says put it at the bottom of the Mission Deck. You choose your missions. Is this one? Uh, yeah, these ones. The two-sided ones. Alright. All right. Looks like there's a bunch of endings too. I'm, I'm, I'm not looking at the endings. You gotta remember not to read that. All right, so we did the clue step, event step. While the character's away in the mission, the colony is vulnerable. Subtract the allowance listed, which was two, right? Oh, you got rid of it. Was it two or three? Can I have the banish box? It was three. So we were eight, so that's five. Holy. Oi! Lo siento. Five. All right. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Lots of stuff happened while we were away. All right. Ready? All right. Ah, Bella shook. Um, seven. This heat wave won't let up. It hasn't rained in days and water is getting scarce. Um, if we, we have a shortage, so minus two population. Eighteen. Uh, there's been a breakthrough. Challenge. If your colony has a workshop, draw an item card and add it. Two. Uh, one through for two. Roaches. They chewed their way through the plastic. Before we knew it, they had made off with a portion of our food. 
Uh, raid. Uh, coffee cans exterminators. We don't have that. Okay. Raid. Minus two. Uh, retrieve encounter card three from the discover deck and add it to the bottom of the encounter deck. Encounter card three is no longer in the discover deck. Okay, so we need three. This is the key. Mission. In mission. Encounter card three. Uh, encounter cards are these ones with the question. Um, eight. Some have called for new leadership. There's a general sense of discord right now, and it's threatening to get worse. We do not have public counsel, so we lose two morale. Oy. 17. The merchants came. We get two morale. <laughs> um, okay, that well, worked out. That's fine. All right. So. That was the event steps. Which doesn't matter, we're gonna shuffle out of the units. Uh, feed the population, minus cheese for our current population. So we have 10 population, we have 14 cheese, which is good. We're down to four, good thing we get a lot of cheese. Build step, page 104 has a list of items we can build. We, we spent our scrap, right? Build the broken item, yeah, because there's only two. Uh, so build. So what do we want to build? We have 12 this time. All right. So we need everything. I'm thinking maybe the workshop. That let oh no, we only have 12. We can put the workshop. Uh, the garden. We don't have the water pump. Um, and have mission card 10, which we just got, so we can't do that yet. Well, since this and this go together, do you want to do the water pump? That's five. Oh, have mission card four in the banished deck pump. Mission card four in the banished deck. No, we haven't done mission four. I don't think so. No, can't do that yet. Uh, expand the nest allows us to have more people. Uh, training grounds, prerequisite when well, we can't get 20 yet because we haven't increased our nest. Market, we need 15. We don't have 15. So really the only thing we can do is this structure can be built in the cozy recess of chairs one afternoon. False. Bonus. On building, choose a new ability for Whisper. You get another uh, ability if we do this one. Let's do that. We're going to spend 10, so we need the Mender's Hut. And Whisper gets another ability. Uh, Mender's Hut. The Mender's... Those should be the ones on the very back. Alright, so here we go. The Mender's Hut. So here's the pretty picture. There we go. So it is a hospital Aww. with the little nieces. Mender's Hut. This structure can be built in a cozy recess of an easy chair where it's warmed in the afternoon sun and there's plenty of stuffing for making comfy nests to tend to the sick and injured. The Whisper gets another ability, so this goes in our box there, but first you have to pick another ability. So you have Aid, Remove Toxic, or remove a non-leader for communication. You liked that one last time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do the communication. All right. You're almost. You almost have all your abilities already. All right. That was our build step. Check victory step. We have not succeeded. And then save step. So that is it, guys. We're gonna go ahead and we will put the things up. You guys don't need to see that. I uh, hope you're enjoying this playthrough of um, aftermath. We're really enjoying it. Um, we may keep playing it next week, which means we'll be live streaming all of it next week. Um, or we may not. Don't know um, if we'll do it on our regular live streams or we'll just play it during the week. Uh, but we feel that, you know, if, we, if we're going to do it, we want everybody to see all the stories. We'll, we want to make sure everything we play of this is on the channel for you guys. Um, but guys, I guess that is it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you know when we go live and when we upload videos. Uh, and until next time. Yes. Peace.